Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back to another Wacky you? Chrono Cross. Shut up. With your man, your host here. You're a man. <laughs> That's right, I'm more than a man. I'm a god. You're a machine? I'm a machine. More than meets the man. Man former. Welcome back, everybody. It's Wacky Man D. Chrono Cross here. Chrono Cross here. Yeah. Who's that? I don't know. Welcome back to another Chrono Cross, everyone. It's good Who's to, there? It's good to see you again. Who's there? It's Wacky Man. Less Wacky Man B. Less Wacky? Less Wacky. Oh, humans, we cannot prevent... Lesser Wacky Man B. We cannot B. permit you to advance further. Look at why that can't they per- fucking schnauzer, man. Why can't, they per- why can't they permit us to go any further? I don't know. They call them dwarves, but I've never seen dwarves with that big old noses, dude. Daffy Dwarf. Do we read this, this before? I think this is anti-dwarf propaganda. That's what, what I think. Daggy Dwarf. Prepare for battle, wicked humans. These are people... These are... These are... These are disgusting I'm so happy Dude, you pretending know. to be dwarves so oh yeah okay uh, so we'll start off right now you ready oh no I took oh. I took uh, I took some caffeine so I'm kind of ready to go you're kind of ready to go only kind of I mean like this game is such a piece of shit that it's just it just it really weighs this on game, everything uh, like it just I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but I, I'm really you know, fucking tired of this game. You know, uh, this game is not that bad in comparison to, like, as a, as a sequel. There's some, up, worse, there's some way worse games that are sequels that cannot even so much as give a decent battle system. Like, this game mechanically, it's probably not that far off of Chrono Trigger, do you think? No, no, I, like I, don't, I don't think that at all, like, even you know, mechanically. Because yeah. it's like, say, for instance, all right, all right, look at Chrono Trigger and even... It, it, it has a basic JRPG system, but there are some aspects of it that are I, I guess in here you have the elemental effects and everything and i think a lot of jrpgs dumb, yeah. have that but one of the coolest things about it was the dual text triple text so you actually had triple tech? it actually had some interesting things uh in regards to like your party composition so if you like specific characters or even if you like specific moves or the utility which is just mostly damage I mean, you didn't really have a whole lot of CC. Like, you, you didn't have, not crowd control, but just utility in battle. So you couldn't really, like, put people hey, to sleep. You need to play you the game them. while you're talking, yeah, Okay, Mr. I can only do one thing at a time, all right? I'm really <laughs> good at doing one I thing at a time. Yeah. But it's like, if, if there's multiple <laughs> things, my brain shuts down. Dude, if I start multitasking too much, my, like, eye will start escaping me. I'll start looking another direction. You know, you ever have that problem where your eyes just start I, I've seen you do that. I was joking. It's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, dude, uh, so you done with your little, your little rant there? But no, no, you're, you're asking me, like, what's, what's the, are you kidding me? I just missed on a 66%. I was asking you what the difference, I'm saying this isn't that far off of, like, the battle system. No, no, I, I know you said that, but uh, one of the biggest things is, like, it's, not, like it, it's not just that, like, just mechanically alone, and I think that it, 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 it attributes or... to the fact that you like a majority of the characters, that you can do but things with them, and you that. get this specific little anime, I know, I know we're not yeah. talking about, it. we're not talking about that, but I, I, I'm talking about just mechanically doing dual text and triple text. Uh, using people's turns, combining said turns, and uh, unleashing a powerful attack, and then getting that animation and stuff is it, it's it's gratifying, and, and it uh-huh. is a part of the mechanic. Yeah, the mechanics. This is uh, like you have a percentile based system where it's a hit. I asked you a simple goddamn question. Yeah, I'm giving you a simple <laughs> answer. I'm saying like I, it, I can't listen it, for that long, dude. You got to wrap it up within a minute or less. A minute or less. It's uh, like you got a sales pitch. This bad dude. Chrono Trigger. Good. My my my. my my point is, like, sure, this isn't too much different. The only thing it's really missing is triple text. And in, in lieu of triple text, you got, like, elemental resistances. And and uh, I, I still don't fully understand, like, the RPG mechanics because I really haven't. So, overall, you said this isn't that much mechanically much. inferior to Chrono Trigger. That's what you said that before. So, we're just going to take that. Right. What, what, what I, I say? What you say? I was leading on to I your point. I wasn't. I wasn't opening up a, like a thing for you to like make make a mini rant about how. No, no, but, but I, I didn't hear what yeah. you said. I, I said that you did. You gotta turn your fucking the volume down on this game a little bit because I not, turned it's not down that my loud. headset. Um. Uh, I, I asked you, is this game that much mechanically inferior I know to Chrono Trigger? Yeah. You it's asked me what say. I asked. <laughs> 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 I fucking know you asked me that. Is that what we're talking about? I don't know anymore, man. All right, what I was getting to, because you you already gave your fucking okay. answer. You can't change it. Anymore, all right, all right? You I said will change what I want. That much, I will flip flop as much as I like want. That. It was something, some something akin to that. Um, right? Would you disagree with that? What are we talking about? I don't know. What's akin to well, it? Like, it. Th- this is mechanically me. inferior. <laughs> the only thing that that really is is it, it's. 
Dude, all right. All right, well, hold okay, up a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not asking you a simple question. <laughs> because I want to talk about something. Okay, hold up. But I'm not saying that this is particularly convoluted, but I am going to say that it's just, it's not fun. Mechanically, okay. like, like mechanically, <laughs> personally, it's, it's a subjective opinion, obviously. But I don't have fun playing this game at all. Oh. Even, even on a mechanic, like a mechanic based level to just look at it and play it and enjoy it. Even taking out all the other issues. I don't, I don't enjoy this. I don't think that the fucking around with the attack system, equipping spells and everything. Yeah, I know. it doesn't seem like there's any form of growth either to the characters. Like I'm not noticing a whole lot of the, the interesting mechanics. Really I, I, I'm not, I'm not getting any feedback where it's like I, know, I feel yeah. like I'm getting stronger or I feel like I'm gonna have more fun unlocking more things and stuff like that. You're obviously unlocking more things that you equip, but it's just, it just seems like everybody's replaceable too, and that really bugs me mechanically. It's like there's nobody that's unique. There's nobody that brings well, anything unique. Only they are unique in their own way. I'm not talking about. That. I'm talking mechanically. Like, well, the, the fairy, for instance, if you do a number three attack, which has the lowest hit rate, she'll hit everybody in the area. That's it, unique mechanically, but it's like, I could just go to an element, element attack that has all attack on it and use that, too. The only difference is the number three attack can be used as many times as you want until your turn's over, and it has a lower hit rate, but it doesn't seem to hit much anyway, and it's like... It misses all the time, so there's an upside downside ratio, but upside downside ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the caffeine's doing a number on me, man. Doing a number? What, what, a number. what number is it doing on you? Nine one one seven. Yeah, nine one one. Yeah. But but no, uh, I, 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 yeah. I, I I just I really don't I really don't like this game, even mechanically. I realize that. Thank you. That's what I was going to say, you motherfucker. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what I was leading on to with that was that I recently played Red Dead Redemption online, right? And I've been waiting Ooh. to talk about this. Are you Are you being serious right now? <laughs> you just like staying the fuck with me. I'm fucking with you. Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, what about it? It's a game. I bought I it. I don't like it. Shut the fuck up. You've never even so much just played it. I watched you play it. I watched you watched me play, play a little bit of the I, intro I, sequence. I, I, I edited all that footage that we did. What are you talking about? Like fucking oh, that's it's like right. three hours of fucking. Um, that footage was me or more. playing it though. What? Yeah, that was like me playing like just a little bit. I don't give a shit. I that totally still forgot counts? about that. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? I forgot about that video. You forgot that entirely. we made a video on it? Yeah, I did. Not even joking. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot, man. I know. Yeah. Well, what about Red it's Dead Redemption Two? What do you want to say about it? Um. So, what do you think I, about this game mechanically? Shut up. What do you think about this <laughs> game mechanically? <laughs> All right, you gave me, I gave you my answer. What do you think? Uh, I think it's pretty standard. It's just, it's just something that's just it doesn't really it reminds, stand out, right? Yeah, it doesn't really stand out too much. It's just something that's not too bad. It's just like you want a basic. It's RPG very mediocre. Game that goes from it's set like piece mediocre. to set piece. I don't know. This is how I think of most RPGs. This reminds me of most RPGs. It's just really? like it's unattractive. There, yeah. There's no, there's nothing. The battle system. The there's interactivity. nothing. There, all right. To so me, there's never been an RPG, a turn-based RPG, where you looked at it and you're like. Uh, that's neat, or that's unique, or anything like that. Like anything at all. The Fire Emblem. I that's, a, that's a tactical RPG, and it's not really turned. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's kind of it's turns. tactical. It's it's not the same thing. That's not what I'm talking. You, about. It's a different you genre. Said, that's what you said. It's a tactical you said, RPG is different. I'm talking turn about turn based. based. Like, I this, like this, turn base. Not um, not fucking tactical RPG. And 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 this guy. Uh, even Final Fantasy X and stuff like that. Like it looks like a great game. I just I just could not get into it. I could not for the life of me. Yeah, you gotta you gotta play the new final. You gotta play the new a, a triple A release game and then get justed by your sir, purchase. Who the fuck cares? And get you justed by You're your ruining purchase. You're ruining everything I'm about to say. Shut the fuck up. You gotta. You, it's like you Brendan. You Brendan Frasering yourself and then you're criticizing JRPGs. At I'm the not, same time. I'm, dude. I'm not even criticizing JRPGs. I'm saying my own. Why I can't get into them. Right. Yeah, okay. And I've said it before. Your I went into a whole opinion. in-depth thing of like yeah. why I personally cannot get into them. Yeah, but but I just find For it ironic reasons. because you just and I'm not saying you just these absolutely games are, I'm not just saying yourself. Like I hate JRPGs. Games are bad or just, but I hate that. I hate JRPGs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I'm gonna purchase a new Grand Theft Auto. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna fucking start pooping myself here in a second. You're like, um, please, Rockstar, feed me shut more the fuck crap. Up. <laughs> I swear, man. Sometimes. All right, so 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 let let us let us uh, let us hear the story of you getting justed because Dude, of why how much you dislike <laughs> RPGs. I swear, I don't I don't dislike RPGs at all. I don't just don't like to play them. Like I'm not disliking them in the sense that 
you know, they're bad. I'm just disliking them in the sense that this isn't interesting to seems, me. It seems like a cop-out. I feel like if you should actually just be like, I don't like them, and that's that. Opposed to, like, well, I, you know... It because just, I'm telling it the like, truth, again, like a, right? You know, like a, like an on-the-fence approach. You'd be like, well, I don't, you know, it's just, it's just my opinion, but all these things, you yeah. know, it's, I, I understand it's just your opinion, but my point is, like, the way you say it, the way you describe it, it's just so on-the-fence. It's just... On-the-fence. Well, I gotta be like, I produce your garbage, and here's why. They can never be good. Like, <laughs> is that supposed to be my fucking opinion? No, that's not how I feel. I like RPGs. I like Final Fantasy VII. I made an exception for that because I found it more interesting, and then I was also forced to play it. <laughs> you were forced to play, it and I you enjoyed the story. And um, yeah, I, I enjoy I, the characters. I, I, I still and it, but again, it's not you call me a hipster I, I really, and shit, but it's like I, I enjoy even like Final. Like uh, I love Final Fantasy VII. A lot of really popular uh, games. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII. I don't know. I'm a lot not, of people are a actual game. I mean, a lot of people are actual hipsters in regards to Final Fantasy VII because it's like, oh, that game was popular. It's kind of like the go-to JRPG that everybody knows. Yeah, it's kind of like how DBZ is like everybody knows what DBZ is because it's like the go-to anime. Yeah, that everybody knows. Oh yeah, like, uh, are you looking forward to the Broly? Okay, I like Broly. I don't yeah. like Super Saiyan Blue. I don't like Dragon Ball Super. I don't like how they're teaming up with Frieza. There's a lot of things I don't like. Yeah, they're trying yeah, to make him a like a sympathetic of... villain, or maybe not. Maybe even... I shouldn't have asked this question. We were talking they're about gonna, DBZ last week. Let's like, not even, it's not even talk about this because uh, this, this is always too long. We, we I feel like they're trying to rant rant to like two I hours no, of Castlevania well, series I think about that... DBZ. <laughs> all right. I thought that. We, hold up. I, I thought that the like they're trying to make Frieza. It seems into like piccolo or vegeta it's like they're just doing another another thing because it's like he's popular so they're like we're gonna capitalize on popularity it doesn't make cool. any sense yeah he was, he was kind of funny he was, he was but okay it just villain. doesn't fit cell either. was better he's, he's a spoiled brat why like, why how the hell is it why, how is he gonna <sighs> grow a conscience after everything that he's done am i the only one who likes cell better than frieza do you like no cell no, no I, I like i like cell better than frieza too yeah, i'm quite like, confident in my speed you know he's just such a douche he's funny thank you for that impression you're welcome no. Would you like me to do another one? Yes. Okay, what do you want? I'll do it. Um, Something where he's insulting Gohan. That's not an impression. That's like... That's do like... Cell again. Okay. I'm Cell. Do Imperfect <laughs> Cell now. Do, wait, what is Imperfect? I'm trying to think about what he imperfect... sounds like a bug. He's like, ah, no, no, the, it's that... me. <laughs> I'm Imperfect Cell. It, wait, wait. Imperfect Cell is... is... The second tier, I semi perfect is oh yeah, semi perfect. That's what it is. It's imperfect, yeah. semi perfect, and perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's, it's like, like then there's like super perfect or something, which is when he Take comes back or something. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like that, but not Toad. Yeah, it's big. Okay, now, 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 now tell me, semi perfect cell probably be like, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well go ahead. What were you gonna say about yeah. Red Dead Redemption? The fuck kind of laugh was that? Huh? Uh, it was a uh, it, it was it was a fake laugh to try to move on to the next subject right. <laughs> because you're saying bad things again. Bad things. Bad things. So what's what's up with the Red Dead Redemption two? It's not much, man. How you doing? It's doing good. Sales shit. are good. Fuck Jer yeah. Okay. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, I was actually angry because. Well, are you Red Dead Redemption two? All right. Consult? Let me let me let me tell you everything. Yeah, I need to be consoled. You tell me everything's gonna be okay. Okay, uh, it's not because you keep buying AAA purchases and you're a fucking. There's nothing wrong with AAA games. Fortnite's a AAA game, isn't it? Yeah. And you played that, yeah. bitch. Yeah, sure. I, I didn't even touch it. You I'm just giving it. you shit. But uh, <laughs> yeah. but I'm like Dota. No, I, I do I do actually think that there is a problem with with AAA titles because it just seems like it it seems like there's a cookie cutter way to create games in which they don't do anything interesting or experiment with them like i, I can't really think of anything what that's, do you mean they experiment they experiment a fucking lot how so Red Give me some Rockstar? GTA 5, they experiment a lot. First of all, your character creator... Open world, okay, open okay, world... Okay, okay, hold yeah, up, hold no, up. No, no, okay, like, you want to ask me a question? <laughs> I will answer it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the genre is the Dude, same. Play your, your game. <laughs> play your fucking game with Daffy Dwarf. All right. He's asking, he's talking to you right now. I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking needs to happen. All right, what was ahead. the question? <laughs> um. So I was saying uh, uh, that there's no, there no don't experiment. experiment. No, 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 yeah, no, they, I, they, I experiment they don't experiment a lot. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should just say they don't experiment enough, and I don't oh. think that well, like, they, they like, experiment too. They, okay, okay. So give me some I, examples. Okay, like experimentation. Okay, actual yes. experimentation. Yes, not, not I just will. A, a, a okay, bit yeah, of a change I'll, of mechanics. Yeah. Because there's a difference. There's, there's like, there's an implementation, there's an execution okay. difference <laughs> okay, in the same the mechanics. 
<laughs> but I know you're gonna say like, dude, I am like barely awake right now trying to keep up. You're gonna, you're gonna up, say like right? some ragdoll and shit. I'm not like just talking. I'm <laughs> gonna give an overall layer okay, of everything okay. that was changed okay, okay. from GTA because 4 you played, you played to four GTA and 5, 5 way more than oh, yeah. I ever played. And yeah, yeah, yeah. especially GTA 4, yeah, yeah. more than most people. So, probably, probably like if there was a world record for amount played in free mode, that would be me. I'd be number one in the world. I, you, I were, you were close to top on leaderboards for a long time. I was top on the team deathmatch leaderboards. I am top still. You can find my account on there. Oh, for okay. Lost well, there you go. Yeah. So. So yeah, like you, <clears throat> you we, would you would uh, you make the claim that you're top 100 in the world? I would say I'm the best at that game. Period. You you say that? I would say that. I, I have that much of an ego. I face a lot of people. There's a lot of clans and stuff like that, and I beat them all. So beat them all off. Yeah, like I was legit. Like I I would you big I would, old slut. Thank you. <laughs> what are you trying to say about to the me right now? Yeah. Experimentation. Uh, it's time. Uh, okay, it's time. <laughs> to experiment. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right here, but just, let's just move on because it's not working. This is not working. It's one of those yeah. things. What the fuck was that? I don't know, man. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> with brush on I'm still a Daffy I'm Dwarf. You're starting to sweat. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat, too. Uh, is it Bring your intention to spot. kill the forest? Yes. Because, I mean, I, all right. So okay, all okay, I have okay, to say, okay, hold on. Wait a second, you asked me. Let me ask the Daffy's question. Daffy just asked no! a question. <laughs> you answered it. I didn't answer it. You said yes. That's a fucking answer. All right, fine, Daffy. I'll get back to you. Okay, so experimentation. This. You say AAA games don't experiment. Okay, yeah. enough. That is not a correct criticism. GTA okay. Five experimented a lot. I'm trying to prove me wrong. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I swear, man. But yeah, okay. So first of all, there's a character creator. There was the overall gameplay mechanics. But they had a all the gameplay creator. mechanics they had a from creator. they had a character creator in in. Okay, wait a second. In online, like, what's the difference there? Like, you're trying to they, attention. What's the how difference? the character creator was presented was that you had to edit through your grand grandparents. You had to edit through the lineage of your character. It also experimented in the essence of how multiplayer worked. They included story mode into multiplayer, so you're playing a story mode driven multiplayer within a large sense of free mode. Mm -hmm. And they also experimented in the sense of, yeah, like, gameplay. The gameplay games were drastically different from GTA 4 to 5. But, uh, and they did a whole realistic thing around it. They added I, I know what you're saying, but it's like... It, it's there was, there's a the lot same... of things that they, they really took chances, risks uh, okay, with. Okay, okay. Like, you can make the same argument for, like, <clears throat> Vice City to Grand Theft Auto 4. It's like, they, they, they changed a lot of the... Cool... Mm, it was still pretty... Like, Vice City is a little bit more, you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unpolished? Yeah, like But but but, but well, okay, okay, okay. So, so, so let's between, just take like, let's just take that, that example. Pointing a gun with, and then not aiming it and stuff. What okay, well let's just take that example. Like my point was in terms of experimentation, I mean within the genre itself. Something it's like what would be experimentative grand, grand for them to just create like a chess game? Yeah, wait, wait, like, wait, I don't wait, understand. Just to fucking develop these games for No, them? I mean like you cause if that's not experimentative, then what is? What is what is what is your quantification for that? Okay, so I have to set up parameters here. Obviously, because you're not saying, because I, I laid it out and I said, this is why I think it's but, but, experimentative okay, okay. and I think saying, you're wrong. And then you're, you're saying, like, no. So it's no. like, then what's, what quantifies <laughs> experimentative? Um, see, now, now I'm just drawing blanks because you did this for me, you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> see, you look it's like, stupid you and don't shit. need to be drastically no, okay, okay, different to be on, experimentative. Okay. My, my point is, okay. And that's not that's not even a good thing to be. I guess I guess okay. Here we go. Here's here's the difference between this. Let's let's say. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a good thing. Okay, look at look at Zelda Ocarina of Time between Ocarina of Time part. to Breath of Wild. Yeah. They change like it's the same franchise, <clears throat> and they took the open world genre and they experimented with interactability within the world itself. There's a lot of problems with it and everything. Like I understand there's criticisms, but they experimented within. A, a new genre, same franchise, experimented within a new genre, and they took the open world mechanics, and then they they tried to go. Wasn't, wasn't can, can we can we interact with the world enough? Like with a lot of open world games, you can't really interact with the world a whole lot. Well, so Ocarina got, of like, Time, you could kind of interact with the world. And not stuff in like the, that. No, no, okay. There's a big difference where you between. Wanted to. A, oh yeah, hold up. That, that and also that, that other that game that just, came out where you turn into the wolf and shit. It kind of had that. No, it didn't. Neither of those had it. It was one of them. One of those no, fucking. No, no. None of those Zelda's. Game, none game of those Zelda's had the same interactability with with as with Breath of the Wild, in which you could set things on fire and then glide around, and you know, no, I'm not uh, saying you set, could set, uh, you know, like get hit by lightning. I, but you, you're, like, you're, there's, there's no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about because you said they never experimented with the open world. I'm like, weren't those games inherently partly open world already? And they just took it on a larger scale. 
they kind of had they kind of had just a big set piece almost like it, i i i really don't want to say it's open world i'm not saying it, it's, it's not literally open same... world but i'm saying like it's literally like ocarina of time because you do the same thing in breath of the wild you can you can go around you can do the main story you can go you can't do it there's not that much freedom in ocarina of time no you could do yeah you can but do the dungeons it, it, it's, in whatever it's order like you an want, enhanced but... version of that no I'm it's saying. not you know like it's fundamentally different in, it's fundamentally uh, different because y you have objectives in which you have to go through to beat the game while uh, breath of the wild you don't you just beat the game right off the yeah. beginning i mean outside of the tutorial it kind which, of forces which is you probably to do pretty it. hard to do eh, i don't know i got there at like three hearts when i first started playing the game i probably could have beat it then in all honesty but uh yeah, I like that's what I'm talking about. There's a huge fundamental difference in the game gameplay mechanics. Now, what you're talking about is it's basically open world and they did improvements or what they thought to be were improvements to like the movement system, things like that. But it's like the at the core, it's still the same. From Grand Theft Auto 4 to 5, it's, it's like it's an open world game. Uh, uh, it's under the same genre, sure. Yeah, it's not just the same genre. It just seems like there's there's not a whole lot of of changes opposed to just improvements over the core mechanics that they've already shown you. There's nothing experimental like, I gave you a grappling hook and then you can grapple around things, you know, like anything mechanically to change it drastically from the previous installment. That's what I'm talking about. That's the quantification. I mean, it is a pretty drastic change from GTA 4 to 5. You're talking about, again, just me and... mechanics in terms of like ragdolling, uh, better gun, like, uh, does it have better... Uh, or I wouldn't call it, it better, no. I was um, going to say like uh, the shooting you know and then the gunplay mechanics stuff like that somewhat but also has things like apartments and, you know it has, there's quite a few different things that they, they it, it, did it, okay it was that, all that on, is on a that, much broader I, I would scale say that that's and an more expansion. grandiose i would say that that's an expansion of of the mechanics opposed to but that was never in the game like that mechanic of it, it's being an expansion able to go and open your own apartment that was never an expansion of it that was just a new edition that was experimental. Uh, okay, still, I, I I disagree simply because when you play a story like this, the story within the Grand Theft Auto franchise, like what would be the logical steps that you try to feel more immersed in with the character within this genre of open world in which you're trying to experience this character's life? That's kind of how it is. You're play experience the character's life. That you'd want to have a home. You'd want to have like NPCs that you interact with. You'd want to have in terms of the execution things that make the character feel more real. I feel like that's a logical step in that same direction, within the same genre, within the same way that they presented it. Just a logical step forward, opposed to experimentation of any kind. It's a logical step forward. It's expansion of the already established mechanics and the established direction of the, of the series. That's what I would say it is. So I don't think that it's experimentation. I completely and wholeheartedly disagree. Um... There, I know that there's other, like, I'm being put on the spot here because I didn't really, you know, whatever we talk about, it's all improv and it's just kind of, like I said, on the spot. So I, I didn't yeah, really think is. too You're much. Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think too much about this. Like, I, I, I'm sure that there's, and I've definitely played them, there's there's definitely games and from, like, sequel to sequel, they will experiment. But usually they're not AAA titles. And it, it kind of makes sense why AAA games don't do this because there's so much cost involved that if you try to experiment and you fail, you're fucked. I don't know. I would consider the, putting the single player into multiplayer a pretty big fucking experiment. With what? Single player and multiplayer. Single player for GTA. and multiplayer. You're talking about in Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, from GTA Four to Five. Yeah, yeah. Implementing single player. Multiplayer. Again, I, I just it's say a retarded it's... idea and it's a huge experiment. It's absolutely retarded. Whoever thought of that was the fucking, you know those Wojaks where they're like brains all like a windmill and shit and they're, oh, yeah, they're like they're brains deflated brains. caves. Yeah, they're deflated brains. Those are those developers who thought of that. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe you can but, make an argument for something like that, but still, I would still argue it's still, it's, it's still like an expansion. I, it's it's just, not an expansion. It's, it's it's trying out something. Who who thinks of that? Like, hey, let's make a single, single player. Act, player. So put single player. So aspects. while you're in like free mode, you can have be called up by single player characters. You can go play the. Hey, Roman, player. let's go it's bowling. Like, let's like let's, let's take Roman and put him in multiplayer. Yeah, it's like. I, or it was Nico, literally I mean, a Nico needs to go yeah, bowling. We talk about that Roman. with GTA Five. So. You know how we're joking around in Red Dead Redemption? It's like, you know it'd be funny, you know, since GTA 5 started off with a... They have, like, the horse. It's like the horse is like a personal car, and you attack, like, the personal like the personal horse, and then they I put, you in, they put the you in the outhouse. They put you in the no no bad boy time. Yeah. You gotta put, put in it, because you're violating someone's safe space. Yeah. You violate someone's safe space, and then you, you get put in the timeout corner with a dunce cap. Because uh, they gotta have safe spaces in fucking games, online games. 
because someone's fifis were hurt. Fifis? Fifis, dude. That's that's the um... feelings, man. Oh man. Okay, so go ahead. Drop right, the Red uh, Dead Redemption in for me. It. Drop it. I didn't. I didn't watch your stream. I didn't even. I didn't even look at it. Yeah, I, I, I streamed a little bit of it with my reaction. It was literally just me complaining for an hour. So I just. I, I was like, this isn't even entertaining. I left the stream on for half an hour too. I didn't realize <laughs> I was streaming. I thought I turned it off, and then I like left it, and I was literally just like quiet and me playing, just like trying to see if it, what what else there is. So for instance, the absolute you know state of B. You know, what, you know what pisses me off about Red Dead Redemption? Everything. It's literally, the, yeah, literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> is is that your Chrono Cross? Literally, is everything. that your Chrono Cross? Pretty much. But could you imagine if Chrono Cross is AAA and everyone was saying how much better, uh, you know, how great this game they is? They already do. Yeah, but they're not in the same level. All they're, right, you're right. There's a small niche say, of people who like this. Yeah, you're right. You're that, right. that are like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But it's like literally everyone's talking about Red Dead Redemption two and how great it is. And I don't think everybody, but you're right. A majority of people. Yeah, do, even yeah. On, like even I got people on Facebook, and they're like, "Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2, isn't this? This is a funny Dude, clip." I don't care what they do in single player. In all honesty, and just in general, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, so, you're more you're more towards the uh, yeah, multiplayer. multiplayer. I love multiplayer yeah. games. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, like that's why I had fun on Dota for such a long time. Well, that's you why... just you like PvP. Yeah. You should probably tell people that. that yeah, like much, huge... I think we talked about it before, but you really love PvP. Yeah, and... anything PvP. That's why I don't play most MMORPGs, and that's why even when I played World of Warcraft when I was originally playing, I played on a PvP server. And then the fact that they nerfed PvP servers really pissed me off. I'm like, you can no longer go around killing level 1 people. That it's was so people, fun. I, I think I told you, I think I talked about this before. And it was on so the fun. forums, there were people just completely butthurt. There was a guy that it's got camped so... for two weeks. Yeah, I know. He got it, camped for two weeks. It's so like, retarded because it's a fucking choice! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could you could go on you could go on PVE servers like yeah, you know, it's like if you servers. don't like that, just play on your PVE servers. Don't ruin you got, PVE you, servers. You got your own little safe space. Stay in there. Stay in your little containment zone. Uh, yeah, stay where in, I stay am. In your shit, in my you PVE fucking, yeah. server because I don't go on PVP servers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but the, what they could have done too is like, okay, we're gonna change the normal PVP servers to hardcore PVP servers, then we're gonna have like light PVP. They could have done that too, but no. Because the people complaining hardcore that's the PvP, whole point. That's the like, point of uh, why am I dying on hardcore PvP? I'm getting camped. It's like, dude, you little fucking faggot. Yeah, like there, there's, I'm there's glad a you reason. Got camped. There's a reason that yeah, yeah. I, I hope that that guy just like fucking camps him in real life too. Yeah, I know, right? But but no, the fucking uh, uh, the thing with with a lot of these. Uh, like a lot of that shit happening is like there are segmented servers for specific purposes. And when you go on there and let's say that someone does grief you, it's like just fucking move to a different server. Yeah. Move to a different server where you don't have to experience this because apparently you are not cut out for yeah, if, it. If you're People that much, will grief you. Like that's just going to happen. Yeah. If you're that that much of a fucking pussy, you can literally just pay 20 bucks to move your character to another server or whatever it is. Or pay 20 bucks or just fucking just yeah. start a new character. Or start a new character. Yeah. Because it's like it doesn't matter that. Much. I mean, they, you can literally buy levels. Yeah, at this point. it's just, it's just fucking back then he could. Little yeah. babies. <laughs> it's like a, it was cancer. I mean, you could start a death night too. Like that, like when PP servers. I, I actually had a death night. I started because I just didn't want to like level up because I was tired of getting camped. You kind of started in, in Wrath of the King. Well, I played in vanilla for a couple of years. Like, uh, I also I played, started like I also played Burning game. Crusade as well. It, it was like it was like but shortly I, I after a little World, bit of vanilla, but not very much at all. Shortly after World of Warcraft first came out, I was I actually start I, I started playing that immediately. Yeah. I, I have very vanilla. fond memories of vanilla. Well, I, I, was, I was too young too. You know, I'm I'm four years younger than you, so four and a half. Yeah. So so yeah. it's like yeah, you when you were playing vanilla WoW, you were younger. Yeah. So it's like I, I really dude, I actually had a guild and shit. Like people, right people would listen to me. Take advantage of that. I abused power. Yeah. Back then too. I abused power when I had my own clan too. Yeah. Because I was a child. Yeah. I had adults listening to me. That, yeah, happened, that to happened to me too, actually. Yeah. I don't know if I talked about that at all. But that that did happen. And it's like when I think about it, it's kind of funny that someone was listening to like. Yeah, but the thing is, you were probably it. typing, right? I was legit talking over the mic. Hey, hey motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Get down and crouch, bitch! <laughs> I don't know why I'm using a telephone little thing. I can't see me, but I'm like. Yeah, you're doing, a, you're doing a telephone uh, telephone thing. Yeah, okay, well, okay, what about, like, give me the aspects of Red Dead Two. That, that's like, what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm doing it right now. Okay, so go I'm, for it. Ready? Open up. Oh yeah. Peanut butter. butter. Late, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's um, a Leviathan, aka centipede. But we, we've already seen this before, haven't we? Found, yeah, because it, this is—I don't know if that's going to make it in, but we we tried to do this before, and I was so tired that I couldn't function. So that may make it into the Chrono Cross deleted scenes. Yeah, what do I do? Don't know though. I haven't gone through it yet. So yeah, prepare to receive the anger of nature. I don't, so dude, I don't think anyone cares about Hi this game anymore. Hi ho. Man. 
I don't Let's think anyone... go. Stop. No. Stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Hydra here, my voice. Turn on these wretched humans. Teach them for its... Uh... Oh, it's pain man. by their existence. Dude, my existence is pain. But yeah, like, I was looking forward... I was also looking forward to GTA Five. That's why I always complain about it. And I, even during the uh, stream... For Castlevania, I was complaining about it a bit. And Which I was talking one? about how excited Which I was. We, had, we did a lot Red of Castlevania Redemption. streams. The one that's public, obviously. Not the ones that are private. I'm like, oh yeah, these private streams. Yeah. You, I mean, you might be Dude, referencing please. that. We've, we've done that before. We've referenced it. Yeah. There's, so, yeah. That, that's, I think that was a valid question. No. Not this time, Chief. Well, at least you're recognizing my position of authority. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah. I've been getting, like, actually kind of angry lately. Even when I was playing Red Redemption 2, it was actually, like, pissing me off. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, dude, I was, I was going to make PP. I, I'm just like, a fucking I'd, I'd go out of my room, and then I'd go, then... I'd go, like, take a leak, and then I'd just hear you screaming. Really? You actually you'd hear me yell? Yeah, yeah, sometimes I would. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, he's getting justed again. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking Don Marcy! Yeah! <laughs> he's throw the controller, shattered into a million pieces. Um. So what, uh... So give me those mechanics. Give me the give me the list. Okay, so literally, so first thing okay. that I'm going to talk about is um, the lack of content, which is just such lack a huge. Content. Elaborate on that. So first of all, Red Dead Redemption it had a lot of mini games. It had poker. Well, okay. Liars dice. But it is beta. It had. It may actually have that. Later. Yeah, I know people are saying that, right? Yeah. But what bothers me especially about okay. this, all right? So this is the beta. So that's that's okay. Maybe it comes out later, but it should come out with a fucking game I bought for sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't think that's that big of a complaint to say, "Hey, I paid full price for this, so I expect a full game." <laughs> Dude, it's early access, man. <laughs> early <laughs> access. Even the AAA developers are doing it fucking now. I had bought DayZ like five years ago, dude. That game still isn't finished. That game was ass. Oh, we're not ta talking about that. We, yeah, but uh, we'll talk about it later. I hate that. I'm game. getting like sweaty. I keep on putting on this fucking robe, and I take it off. Put it back on. Dude, you're naked now. Get, put your robe back no, on. No, I'm, I'm... Dude, all right? Stop. I'm starting to sweat, man. Yeah. <laughs> like what you see, Peanut? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... So, so what, what else? Going. What else? Elaborate on the... Elaborate on the, the other things that bugged you. Because you're... Okay, so you talk about the minigames. They may actually be in. So what else bugged you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... You talk about lack of content. The, the actual core mechanics are so garbage... It was, like, pissing me off. Explain that. What do you okay. mean? Okay. So, in Red Dead Redemption, it, it played pretty smoothly, right? You, you, When you shot your gun, he would pick up his gun and shoot it. Okay. Right? In Red Dead Redemption, sometimes you can't shoot your gun if you're being shot. You mean part two? And two, yeah. yeah. And also, they what added the... So there's okay, like, wait a second! Wait, I'm just asking you real quick <laughs> to clarify. Do you mean, like, hit stun? <laughs> <laughs> so, so angry. <laughs> Do you mean like hit stun? Do you mean like you're shot and then you're yeah. stunned? Like yeah. hit stun. Like, there's, a, there's, like a there's, fighting there's like... game mechanic like that. Like you yeah, get punched much, yeah. and then you can't, you can't yeah, do anything. Yeah, yeah, like that? There's that. I was, I was being like Why shot. Why the fuck is there hit, hit stun? I don't know. Like, like, that, was, that was happening to me. I was like, I, sh I sh got shot and I couldn't fucking shoot my gun. And I'm like, why is my gun firing? <laughs> it was actually like starting to really piss me off. Um, this is the stuff you miss when you miss out on his uh, on his streams. It was literally just this. It was literally like screaming. The middle of like... Like, you did it in, like, the middle of the morning. Yeah. Like, at, like, 3 a.m. You're, like, sleeping in the other room while you're just screaming and just me just yeah, I'm sleeping the top soundly, of my dude. Like, you do it so much, yeah, I, just, I, I don't feel anything. Or I don't hear anything. <laughs> you feel don't feel anything? No, you don't, feel anything you, don't anything you fucking more. reptilian. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. Like, I was, uh... I was just, that was making me so angry. It's just like made me lose all hope for humanity. <laughs> okay, so the like, hit, the hit stun's bugging you. What else do we got? Okay, we so yeah, How the I, fuck I'm is that to... resisted? Hey, I'm the angry one, bitch. I'm the angry one. <laughs> <laughs> I just used lightning on this asshole, and now he's he's immune to earth too. Apparently. Um, I'm okay. trying to like half listen to you, but that's. Yeah, you 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 died to him before because you sucked balls. All right. Hey, we dude, all you don't have to tell them that. They don't know that I died. I'm gonna cut that out. Don't cut that out. What? Am I dying? Yeah. Why? Why the fuck would they want to watch that? Because. This isn't a Castlevania series where people laugh at our deaths. Should be. Bitch. Oh! When's okay, Toby Hogan coming back? When's Toby Maguire coming back? Yeah. Never, dude. He fucking... We got, we got some, we got, I got some shit-ass Spider-Mans now. Found I mean, the last, yeah, the last one, it was just like mediocre at best. It was bad. I wouldn't call it bad. 
Um, it, no, it was bad. Maybe we're talking about fucking Spider-Man Homecoming. God damn it. I, I like that I play Spider-Man, though. Yeah, he, okay. So, yeah, he's a good good Spider-Man. So, that anyways, I'm... So, the mechanics of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, when you... Like, for instance... Let me... Let me like, yeah, what else besides you, the hits that bugged you? Shh. Shh. I'll tell you. <laughs> if you stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> so, for instance, even something simple, like when damage. you pull your gun up, Right? So you, you, you can... pull it out of your holster. Is that what? You're about? No! <laughs> you just said pull your gun out. Yeah! Where are we pulling it from? <laughs> it, it, everything just takes so long to do. Like, you pull your gun out, and, it, like, the uh, the overall realism, the way, man. like... Like, if you if you just get out of a sprint, right, it takes you, like, five seconds to recover to pull out your gun. It, like, it takes, like, the, the, the time between things that happen. It's look almost... At, it, is, dog, it is... It really is, like, a realism system. And, like, a horse balls. Yeah. Shrinking in the, in, the, in the wind. So, like, the way the game plays, it's almost like it's trying to mimic real life. And that is so fucking irritating because that's not fun. I do not play video games to play real life, okay? Like, it I, is I, I so made that, I made that, stupid. I, I made that argument even when I was younger when people are like, oh, why don't you like Call of Duty? Because, you know, look at how realistic it is. It's like, you shouldn't be using an argument that it's realistic. It's like, I play games... Because they're not, but there's also just you know, value like, fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I would love to actually, but it's not fun when it, I. Yeah, my, my, and then the thing is, the um, yeah, like like Red Dead Redemption One is more mechanically sound. Like from everything from pulling out your gun to it, shooting, it, it's, it's more, more intuitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're talking about like the difference between this. This is an actual problem. I know what you're talking about because more AAA devs are actually doing it. They're they're going more towards realism opposed to video game garbage. mechanics yeah. that like, feel good. Yeah. Like, like that, that work good. Like, for instance, the reason why Fortnite's so popular is because it's actually mechanically really sound. The way you yeah, aim your gun. it's not realistic at all. I no, mean, it's like, not realistic now. at all, yeah. But the way you aim your gun and everything, like the, the time between shooting, like, for instance, in Fortnite, you don't get shot and then, like, oh, I can't fire my gun now because I can't see because I'm getting shot. It's like you have a battle and the dude, like, builds an entire mansion on top of you and then he's like, Ooh, he starts editing. And then he just he like starts editing, like, and then he starts, drops like a spike trap on you, and then he and then he does a yeah. retarded dance, and, and then, then I fucking and then I just like and throw then my turns chair. out it's like a five year old kid that just dapped on you. Yeah, there's actually some kids that really get that game like way better than me. That's why I just don't play yeah, it as it's much depressing, anymore. It, it just makes me angry. I actually fucking yell when I'm playing it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like joking. dapped on by children. Like dude, children I was, I was like I was like six or something, and I was just surviving, and then some guy just fucking like um he shot me in my back or something. I don't even remember what happened, but I remember I was so angry. He came out of the storm. I jumped up. I heard my fucking chair and then slam it out I was like oh really <laughs> I heard that <laughs> yeah. I heard, yeah I heard that the uh I, it was it wasn't even like telling him I'm just doing it to ham it up that was just like a violent urge I had yeah he does that I'm not even joking I'll we were playing a game with we, we were playing a game with uh one of our parents spent some time with our parents oh, it was, on, it was on a holiday yeah it was on it was on Thanksgiving that's what it was and uh we yeah and I was so, like, so I was... we yeah we got the switch and then we played with one of our parents, and then he was just screaming the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then even I, even when I won, I was like, "Suck it!" <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, man. I got, I got too much testosterone. Is that what it is? It's just too much, too much testosterone. Yeah. Don't worry, I got this, guys. Some of that, some of that good old vitamins. What else is? Was it okay? What were? <laughs> Why don't you talk uh, about passive mode? Okay, I got hit twice and I died. Welcome back, everybody. I'm dead. Yeah, buddy. All right, so it's a cool game. Come on. Stop gargling. Come and let's go. You ready? Here we go. Ready? Uh, Boom. Mechanics. I'm ready. So, so ready. how about you talk about pa passive mode? How do you talk about yeah. the, the the cuck mode? Yeah, so, if you are a little bitch and you, you go want into passive to, mode, so you yeah. go into multiplayer mode in a game and that is that is like they should have segmented something so there's no passive mode because it's PVE like service. I'm getting bullied. PVE and PVP. Yeah, yeah. Because so yeah, okay. So okay, 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 okay. I, hold on. Yeah, okay, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. No. You talk after I'm done. No, you don't wait for me. I don't wait for you. I just want to say that that like it's oh, there's man. nothing. But wrong. you never even played it, there's right? Nothing, so right, let no, me no, no, talk about but, it. But I played right. like Ark and everything too, where it actually has PvP, and those people like fucking grief the shit out of you. It is actually encouraged. Like they will grief the ever-loving fuck out of and you. And those servers are way more fun than PvP. 
Like he is nowhere near as fun. Yeah, as but I, th- that that game is just not balanced in general. It's like if if it's no life funny though. It. Like we were going around as mutants, and then you're pulling people out of their homes. Well, actually, I, I pulled that guy out of his home. He was like he built his house two stories high, and he left his hand out. That's back when the game wasn't like as patched as it is now. And I like, pulled out of his house, and then we stole his shit, and then we cooked them and ate yeah, them. We, we, yeah, <laughs> we, we stole them. We the chopped them up, and then we cooked them and ate them in his own house. <laughs> you can just imagine like these like mutants running through the wilderness, and then just like, like eating people. <laughs> It was funny because people were trying to set up meetings and stuff, and then we came out of nowhere with like clubs, and then we actually, oh like, yeah yeah the, one the, of the high, level, high people. level people we came out and club them and try to take got, their I got, shit. I think I'm pretty sure he grabbed me though. Like I'm pretty he sure grabbed you and, and one yeah. of our other friends. Yeah, and then I actually got away with some of the stuff, but it's like we were such a low level that yeah, we couldn't every time keep we joined, the stuff. Yeah, we couldn't keep the stuff because we had no weight. Yeah, that, that game was actually kind of scary because you saw us like a bird in the sky. That could be someone riding it. That was actually kind of fun playing it way back when. But that game is just too demanding on PC. They never optimized it. It's like fucking yeah, balls. It, it really does run like shit. But I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you play in a game that has like PvP on it, there, I, I think that there's nothing wrong with not wanting to get griefed and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with that. That's why developers should have a PV. separate yeah. server. Yeah, it's like if you want to experience that, that's fine. Yeah, and that's what people were suggesting too. They were like, like, like PV, stuff like that's fine. It's like I, I can understand PV. that. Yeah, I can understand um, if you don't, you know, like if you want to play Ark and for example, and you. Don't so, yeah, want to so, get grief the fuck so out first of thing, it's like, just play so, on that or play a private server stuff like that. It's like anything. Yeah. So so works. first first problem, right? Releasing an unfinished game is absolutely garbage. They did it with GTA Five too, and that really pissed me the fuck off. They released an unfinished game, and when it came out and finished, and they they so the, the thing is too also they were asking for what MMORPGs have and what like Dota has, for instance, which is a free to play game, which is in game purchases. Right, and most games like, are going this way, and it's fucking garbage. All right, but I was like, I'm, I'm fine currency. with this. You're talking yeah, about like yeah. buying in-game currency, in-game, buying in-game currency, and buying like even in-game things generally. You know, if it's not DLC, DLC that's adding on content, if you're just selling things that are be cosmetics, it. it's still yeah, it should be it should be unlockable because you it, it bought the full game for dollars. What do you think about what, what do you think about so, like if you play the game and then you just unlock it, uh, or you can buy it, so it gives you an option to unlock it if you just play the game. I think that's cancer to have an option to buy it as well. Mm. It's absolutely what about cancer. those people? Because there's always that argument. It's like those people who, who want to play the game want these things, but they don't have enough time to play it. Well, maybe there's they should, maybe should fucking hang themselves. Maybe that's the... <laughs> <laughs> maybe they should go find a rope and a rickety stool and kill themselves. You heard it here. That was Die, completely Normans. satirical <laughs> and par- parodical. Parody. Yeah, what is parody. It? What is parodical? We, we don't really endorse yeah, yeah. I just suicide. Made that it's just a joke. Suicide is is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're um, just joking. Yeah. Please uh, don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like Um I'm I'm with you there and, and that's that's always the that's always the argument. Like, that's always nightmares about the British Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> but that's always the argument against against stuff like that. It's like people want an option where they can't they can't play the game too much, so they want these cosmetics or things, and they're like, "Well, I can pay for." Maybe it. they should stop ruining the fucking gaming industry. Maybe that's the answer, huh? Maybe they shouldn't purchase the game in the goddamn first place. They don't have the time to goddamn play it. All right, I agree. Like, like, who says that? What kind of a retard? Normally, I'm on the fence. I'm like, oh, I try to, I try to be like a little bit reasonable and try, try, I attempt to it. But those people honestly could go fuck themselves. They are retards. <laughs> That's a majority that of That is the most That's retarded thing you can say. What about the people who can't play and just want to buy a save file? It's like, maybe you should buy your own suicide, huh? Maybe you should go and buy a plane ticket and then... <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess she finished that. I was going to go really dark there. <laughs> 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 but that's a majority of video uh, people play video games now, because I, I, it, it's like uh, I think even the mobile industry kind of normalized that, where it's like, you if, if you play. But the a thing game, is, that was fair because I'll tell you why it's fair because it's free to play, and that's how they make their money. They're like, stuff. we okay. give you a free product. The only thing we want in like certain things like Dota, they want they want money for cosmetics. So like, we make cosmetics. So no, no pay to win. No pay to win. Yeah, and that's fair, right? A little pay to win is fine. Like Hearthstone, for instance, they did it fine at first. They got really greedy, and overall, it just turned into a shit product because they just over time couldn't update it and add more things in at a, a pace. And anytime they did add more things in, they were just got more and more greedy, and made the player base be like, "Well, this isn't you know, this is you're just you're being assholes." 
And then they didn't add a new and then feature. There's so there a bunch of problems, right? And it, it, it's too big to fail now. So and then they like actually released thing. broken fucking cards as well in that game. That was a card game. They released broken cards. It actually made me angry because like some of the shit was just so retarded. And a lot of people who played that game were angry. So people quit because they didn't... They, for all those reasons I listed. And he, I'm not going to go point by point. Do, what, what, about, what, about, what about the people um, who are too big to fail? So, they so just the, do shit like that and then they just kind of... It doesn't so, matter. So Hearthstone, Hearthstone had like a pay to win aspect because you had to like... You could either pay to unlock the cards or you could unlock them normally. Mm -hmm. That was fair also, I think. Right, because it's a free game, and you can still have fun even if you're not paid to win, right? But you're just gonna be able to make less decks. Fair. You make paper cosmetics. Fair. But you do not charge someone sixty fucking dollars and then say you can get way more than someone else if you spend a fucking grand on this because you don't have time to play it. It makes them a lot of money. Yeah, it makes them greedy fucking bitches, man. <laughs> they, they straight up bitches but no okay so they released unfinished product and then they're gonna ask for fucking in-game purchases and it doesn't even make any sense because it makes sense from a business perspective yeah well you know what the, like like I, i'm gonna say this now they actually lost me as a customer i'm not buying rockstar products anymore this is the last rockstar product i'll buy like legit like i'm not buying gta 6 i'm not buying red Redemption 3 i'm not buying the new fucking L.A. I don't noir. think they care. The, the, I, I, I agree that that's... Like, it's actually pissed me off. I was a huge fan since GTA 4, right? I like San Andreas, but it wasn't enough to sell me. GTA 4 is what really sold you're me. Gonna get, you're gonna get... Like, you got those people who were like... Uh, just, I saw potential. You got those You got those cucks who just jerk off whatever's... Like, there, there's such a, a ridiculous amount of... of they just, like, suckle at the yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Like, the Rockstar is doing the best that they the, can. The, the corporation. This is debate, those, man. those people. Like, I don't those understand people. that. I was reading the Facebook comment section. People were like, this is debated after all. It's like, you don't see a fucking problem with that. They're not releasing a free free roam game no, no, except for from Red Dead Redemption. They're corporate cocksuckers. Yeah, it's like I hate that shit. Yeah, I actually like, hate that. Like, like, no you don't joke, think it's I hate garbage those that they fucking a month after the game releases. Yeah, it reminds me of the like the Nintendo Labo purchase like purchasers and stuff. They were like buying literal cardboard, and then they're like, oh, you know, it, it doesn't matter that Nintendo's just ass fucking you with cardboard because Nintendo is such a great company. It's like th there's problems. I, I like Nintendo. Get me wrong, but it's like if you criticize them. Sometimes people are just like, oh, they're just doing the best. My, my point can. is, it, it just seems like they think that there are corporations that are beyond criticism. And if you yeah. deliver legit criticisms that that are, like, say, for instance, like the cardboard is, is ridiculous for charging at that price point. And you bring up that, get this you bring up, you bring up that, that criticism. And then they're like, how dare you? How dare you? It's like, it's like Nintendo is like a family member to them or something like that. Like they have a vested interest beyond just buying their products where it's okay. like it's like a religion and it's disgusting right, time it's like fanaticism I, I know yeah all right but i need to get back they to right there because i need to be donate to my it. superman powers i will I, destroy these people uh, i need to stay on top of this or else i'm gonna lose my track so okay that's a problem also another problem is single player online they did that again they did it again me me so i boot up the game mm -hmm. we were joking about how there'd be a horse race at the beginning there's a mission at the beginning that's like almost like a horse race. It was, it was retarded. I, you have to sign up and do a mission at the beginning. People have to join. Oh, so it's wow. like that again. They did it again, and I'm like, this hey is. Hey man, absolute... don't broke. We're fix it. Uh, uh, don't fix what's broken. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're don't they're like, well, it, it, you know, it worked the first time. And then you got it. You got to go through a long movie sequence. Uh, I don't know if it's skippable or not. I tried skipping it, but I think you have to press down the A button. I forgot about that because I stopped playing story mode. So I don't know if the beginning's skippable or not. But I tried I everything. I tried here. every button. I tried. I think it's and I, maybe I messed up. Maybe you can hold down a button and skip it, but okay, I, I thought it was inconceivable. I could be wrong about that. And it's like, I just don't even care. And the fact that you have to go and do story missions in multiplayer is the worst fucking idea ever. All right? It is the worst idea anyone has ever had. Like I said, it's literally like that brain dead. That was, was super. That was really what was wrong with GTA V. You are galaxy brain, and Besides they, are, they are deflated brain. Yeah, they are deflated brain. Like, they are so far beyond deflated brain, dude, it's not even funny. They're they have no brain. idea what fun is. All right, fun is not like. Is. Hey, we gotta go you rob a train. I'm we gonna, gotta I'm go. Gonna be, I'm gonna be the asshole that you're always the asshole to me when I when I say these things. You know what fun is, though. You know better than everybody else, right? So you say to me, you piece of garbage. Say things like that it sets me in a fun. I'm talking level. about me personally as a person who's okay. experienced in playing their products and what I found fun and bought Maybe me as a consumer say that it's has now been betrayed because it's kind of like people play World of Warcraft originally, right? Like they, <laughs> that they, game. Like they've been playing vanilla, and then like, uh, or, or the people have been fan Diablo, 
And then they, they used to play don't all the Diablos. Get me started on and then Diablo. the, the mo God. mobile game comes out, and they're like, "Hey, we don't want this. We want a new Diablo game." And they're like, what, "Hey, you don't, have, don't you have a phone?" Don't you have it's a like phone? it's like that reaction, pretty much, with Rockstar. It, it it reminds me of that. It's similar. And the fact is, though, it's different because people are just like pat, like just suckling at Rockstar's fucking dick, and not saying this is garbage. This is an actual garbage game. The the, the fact that they put so much money into the visuals gives me AIDS. Like this, looking Dude, at a picture crack. is not fun. <laughs> I don't care how pretty it is, it's not fun. That Having something look pretty is not fun value. I don't understand how they don't understand this basic concept of something looking pretty is not fun. That is not what fun is. That is not it could it be at fun all what is important in the game. Fun. It could be you know, blocks. I, I, I look met, at Minecraft. That game was I, I a talk, load of fun I, for I, when I, talk, I was younger. I talked about, like I talked about this before. I talked about this before back when I was playing Anarchy Online as a child. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what Anarchy Online is. Old old MMO. That was my like, first MMO. Literally came out in 2000. Yeah. It's 18 years old. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's an older MMO. I played a little bit after it first came out. I played in like 2002. 2001, yeah, I played 2002. it too. I got yeah, like level 150. Too. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually hit cap and everything. But, I was a martial uh, artist. Yeah, I got, I got the expansions, hit cap, everything. Uh, I still have fond memories of the game despite it being a piece of crap. It's not actually a piece of crap. Mechanically, there's some interesting things, but it just has a, a lot of fun. Yeah, so but my point is, my point is yeah. that there was a guy in there that would fly around and just look at the landscape and everything else. And that's that was his fun. Like, that was a majority of the fun for him. He, he, he got to the point where he could buy a Yalm, which is a spaceship, like a little spaceship kind of thing. You'd fit in it. Like, that's also kind of funny because the, the ship itself was like a foot tall and like three feet wide, but your character was huge, so it didn't even make any sense. Like, you shrunk to get in it. But he'd go around in that little Yalm and then just look around. And then he'd tell me about how much he liked to look at the environments and everything. This is legit, really. Wow. Yes, really. So there are people like that. I think that they're not... But they're such, such a small Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, they derive they that much be. enjoyment. If that's a normal dude, if that's normal people in the gaming industry, I don't Normans. wanna if what? Normans. Normans. Dude, I'm gonna be fucking like normies, dude. I'm gonna start going <laughs> and I'm gonna get my fucking get something that goes pa 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 We are not joking. saying what it is. We are joking. Hey, I didn't say what joking. it is. I, I know, I'm just saying we are joking. That is only, that's a joke. It's a, it's a goof. And be a real goof when you're fucking. I swear. <laughs> but no, it, okay, that that is weird. That is straight up weird. Like, he would look over the, the thing like, wow, I, I don't, this I don't is know. so fun to look at this. I, I don't. Maybe I don't. that guy is a creative person who's like an architect, or maybe he was just a straight up fucking child. All right, I don't know. <laughs> but but no, uh, who's autistic? He could be autistic as well. Way weirder things than it could that. Have been, uh, I think there's way weirder things than that to drive like from. But yeah, okay, so so they, they spent they spent money. Okay, so like when I think about this, it really pisses me off because there's there's they released an unfinished game, but they were yeah. willing to take the time to make the horse balls shrink, to, to detail horse balls, to animate dog shitting, and God knows what's el what else. Like they for instance have it to where NPCs they have, did a bunch of stranger missions, which basically is something you could pass I mean, you can pass them up, but it's an optional mission that's just everywhere, and they're all pretty basic. They're all like, Hey, my horse just fucking died. Can you give me a ride back? Hey, someone stole my cart. Can you give it back? Hey, can you go kill this guy? Hey, and you kill this guy. Hey, I need a ride. Hey, I gotta go. Hey, can I'm, you I'm kill five pigs? Can you, can you can kill you, five? Can, it, can, it's can, just can, like can, all can these get, garbage. Can you get pig livers from, from like five pigs or pig hearts? But yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah, the Stranger Missions the in hearts. a nutshell. And if they think this is fun, it's like, oh, yeah, no. The only thing I can think, the only things I can think of that they've actually improved is, for instance, adding in swimming. That was just a legitimate improvement. That was something that should need to be in Red Dead Redemption 1. That I don't know why that wasn't. It was kind of funny, though. But, it, yeah, that, that, was, that was the only legitimate improvement I can think of. Everything else is just garbage. And the fact they put all the money into, like, NPCs. And that I, I they do this wanna... every time. It's just so retarded. Like, for instance, I don't care if I see some guy handing up a piece of wood and he's fixing up a building. That matters to me on no level. But, yeah, so they, they put funding into all of that. And whenever I look at it, it's like, instead of actually releasing a finished product... I, I talked about this before. With content. Yeah, I, I talked about this before. There was something interesting said about one of the developers who did uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. He said that there was a huge amount of development time just put into, like, foliage in, in like, plants and stuff. grass. It, yeah. it, like, stuff like that. And I died again. Dude, I'm getting just and, and what did he thing. say? Finish this. I'm actually interested. What? Okay, he, he said that there was a shit ton of development time that was put into that, and he looked at it, and he go he went like I'm paraphrasing here, obviously, but he looked at it and said that like this we can't spend like four months developing 
foliage like this, even if it looks really pretty, it's like, where are the gameplay mechanics? Where are the things that, that people fired? come here They're to? Like, yeah, they got they fired. Him out the window. <laughs> Get the him window. out of here. <laughs> no, no. He basically said that that was his design ph uh, philosophy in going back to Final Fantasy XIV. He needs a job at Rockstar to fix their fucking products. They put so I, I much think the mentality. Into... I think the mentality in general is just actually a good mentality. Because yeah, I, I completely agree. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I do like graphics. I think it's neat, but I don't think it's to be. The, it, it, the, it is I don't think it should be the foundation of a it, game. It is literally the sprinkles on top. Yeah. Oh, that's all it is. Uh, when it's I not play a video cake. game, it's not even the icing. It's those sprinkles that sometimes you want. <laughs> sometimes you don't feel like sprinkles. Yeah, there's a lot of games. So but that, I, that's what again, I would say I about we're, maybe in the games. minority because it's like there's a lot of people who love that kind of thing because it's like I play a game for to instance, have fun. You know what? Like Doom, for instance, like that had great graphics, but that was just nice. That had great graphics. It, it, it had, still it, had like mediocre. It didn't graphics, have spectacular was, graphics. No, but, but it, it looked nice. It looked. Yeah, it looked. It's serviceable. That's completely mean, serviceable. Fun. It looked it looked pretty pretty fucking nice, like a Doom, the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think it compares to something like God of War or something. But like, crazy like for instance, Doom won awards, right? But they didn't have a million different demons I'm, and I'm designs. Get, they had like the if fucking big, same demon. But by the way, if we ever get big, I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this for dying so many times because I'm literally looking at you trying to trying to like. It's because you're, you're saying because you're garbage at RPGs. It's okay. We yeah, know. yeah. But anyways. So, yeah, I'm so they, they spent so much money on the fucking... It, just, it bothers me to look at the environment, because, like, all of this could have been on fun mini games, having a laugh with your friends. Uh, so what do you... What are... As okay, how about this? I think it's interesting. You don't like JRPGs that much, right? Yeah. Like, you don't... Or rather, you don't enjoy them that much. What could they do? What could the JRPG genre do for you to make them like you? They're, you like what? them, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um what, what do you mean by that what do you mean Just, in, in the genre are we like, talking about simply a turn-based game or something that's still a jrpg while it has other mechanics in, in there okay, well, what, what, we'll start with the turn-based thing first so what what could that what could they do well for instance i think it's uh presentation and how the turn base is done i think if you make it a generic one like this in which the camera pans around the characters as they attack and it's just slashes them every time sort of like every final fantasy game it doesn't really separate itself. Well, something like Peter Mario 2 separates itself in a sense to where it makes it more interactable. So, for instance, right before you hit someone, you have to press the A button. So, so and you... doing things like that to make it more interactive, as well as presenting it in such a manner that is unique and enjoyable to look at. And That's all subjective, though. you got to, like, define it better. <sighs> um, well, in the sense, I the definition is... and the, I mean, I guess not the definition. The example is Paper Mario 2. So you just want interactability... Interacti actability within the game itself and then that just makes you like the game more that is something that would make me like it more yes any other examples because there's action games well, you and I, I feel like you don't like them that much either like action JRPGs, rpgs jrpg like that have an a jrpgs that have an action basis there is them. one game i don't remember what it's called i i, I know uh, i liked it was uh i liked i liked eternal sonata for its eternal sonata, yeah, that's yeah it that was a turn base i think no no when it was, i was it, younger it wasn't that was, that was action wasn't it, it was action, i remember right. i just loved the gameplay i was like wow the gameplay is so good the, the story it, i gotta, remember was i did not pay attention to it at all that was actually a game i just played for the gameplay and i'm like wow the gameplay is just it is it's, it's really... like, those are like tales games like yeah tales games um, uh you should have actually Maybe certain played, games like uh, that. Tales of Asperia. I might have liked that game a lot, but you played the fuck out of it. You were like when when we had it, you had like over hundred hours, and you just kept on playing. I, it. I love that game. And then you told me it, everything it, it, about it. And I'm coming... like, well, that's not really leaving much for me. There is there. It's it's coming. Well, it's coming out. There's a remake of it coming out, or a remaster, or whatever the fuck, uh, coming out soon. And by soon, I mean next year. Maybe it's something worth streaming. There's also another game that came out. We borrowed from our cousin when I was really young. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but I remember I played the fuck out of it. I was like, whoa. But then there was an actual broken part in the game that made me really just disinterested. It was actually broken. The boss was so hard. And I, I saved it oh, at the point in which I know I what you're talking about. Yeah, it was I, the one that kind of mimicked Final Fantasy X. Ten. I don't know why I said X. Final Fantasy Ten. It was action, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but action, I, it, it mimicked it in, in the sense of... Uh, but there's there's a broken part in the game in which... Um, I, I, I you could not like go back and grind because yeah. he kind of like talks over it. It really reminded me of that. Yeah, but you try to copy it narrative wise. I, I was saved in a part because I didn't do a double save because I didn't think there'd be like a chance in which I have to fight a boss and I can't go back and grind. And it actually forced me to where I couldn't go back to town. I couldn't grind enemies. So it just, it really pissed me off. Cause like, I don't want to start the game over again and I can't beat this fucking boss. I remember I was trying for three hours. It just like pissed me off. I'm like, this is not fun anymore. I am done. And then I turned off the console. That's Magna like, Carta. <laughs> That was what? Magna Carta 2. Really? That was what it was? Magna Carta 2? Yeah. 
I didn't, I didn't even remember that. That was, that was pretty sharp of you. Wow. Well, yeah. Mark is my brain's like, like a boom. peanut right now. Done. That's like me Just like sex, women. dude. Damn it. I was saying that. <laughs> She's like, boom, got mine. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, ho. Yeah, fuck bitches. Because I did. And fuck them uh, traps, I'm done again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so certain games like that, I think, offer um, so, something that I like. So if, if you're just asking simply from a perspective of what would attract me as a consumer to purchase a game, it, and, and I think also it would take something of a certain uniqueness in the art style and stuff too. I find that very attractive as well just to look at. Like for instance, the way Paper Mario 2 is presented. What, what uh, about, what about, and, and, what about, hold up, what, what, about, what about like Akira Toriyama's Sonata. artwork? So if Akira Toriyama did something and then he did If he did like, like a turn-based action RPG with DBZ, that would be Action fun. RPG? I'd play that. That that's turn based action. It's, it's one or the other. Like they're not interchangeable yeah. there. That doesn't make any sense. Well, they gotta make some new shit. <laughs> and I think also a great thing to do in any game, even if it's just, you know, an action game, is breaking up the monotony with different things. Like for instance, even in Gears of War and stuff like that, there's sections which sometimes can be annoying if you're playing on insane difficulty, but you have to hide from the krill, you have to uh, shoot at, so uh, at like mini games and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, stuff like that for story mode, mode specifically. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to most like games... Like, Final Fantasy VII had a, good, a lot of mini games, for example. Right, yeah. And I think also would, would be good to help differentiate some of the current RPGs is adding in um, co-op modes as well. You know, like having look at that. people can play your party members. Uh, I, went say, I didn't say anything last time, but look at that. Like, it, 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 it flashed what it did for a second. When you used Wave of Fear, it did defense decreased, right? I was wondering what it did last time because I wasn't really... Like, I wasn't looking at the right place and it flashed like one fucking second and even let me know like i i don't know what's going that really on it really bugs the shit out of me game. i just see you at the same boss fight after the fucking <laughs> uh, fucking hour you don't this. say that right i cut all that out that didn't happen yeah and then like before this you also had another like 50 minutes of just fighting this boss that didn't happen this boss is like your fucking uh shao Kahn, you know I actually didn't have any problems with Shao Kahn. Like, people are like, oh, Shao Kahn's so strong. Well, so he, hard. I think it's I like Shao how he just, like, cucked all over people. He's just like, I think Shao Kahn at the end of arcade mode. Yeah. With certain characters. In, 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 in Mortal Kombat 9. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have any problems. Like, the other ones are just fucking. In Mortal Kombat canceled. 9, Shao Kahn could be a problem because you can do insane difficulty, I think it is, or hard mode. He, like, combos and he becomes you. retarded. He, yeah, he, he, like, I understand. Because he's got, he's got, uh, he's got, like, no hit stun, so you can punch him. He's got, like, you can also break hyper through armor. your blocks as well. Yeah, he's got, like, hyper armor. He's got some stupid shit, and then he and can combo you from begin like from full health to nothing, and then he just cucks you, and laughs even, at you, and then a woman like crawls to his feet, and, and then he's bitches, like, ah, 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 yeah, ah. he's like straight up alpha, dude. He's straight up a Chad. I like I like Shao Kahn. I, yeah. I've always liked Shao Kahn. He's funny. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's pretty he's pretty funny. He's such a he's such a Johnny Cage is always my favorite though. Sure, I'm not saying that Shao Kahn's my favorite. Your favorite Scorpion, right? To play, yes. I don't As know if character? he's my favorite character. Who's your favorite character then? I don't know. I used to really like Liu Kang, but then I was like, eh. eh. Yeah, so in Mortal Kombat 9, they kind of made him you, a little bit of... Um, I, I, I liked Raiden a lot more after Mortal Kombat 9. Like, I didn't like him that much, but after playing Mortal Kombat 9, you know, for the first time, I actually really liked uh, Raiden after. Like, he, he just kind of fucked everything up because he was trying to help everything, and he did actually help uh, everybody out way more than what it could have turned out to be. But uh, it was just interesting to see him just fuck everything up based on, like, these little small premonitions he got from his future self. And it was just, I, I think it added a lot to the character because he's just kind of, like, stumbling through the world trying to do the best he can by interpreting these visions and then fucking up things he thinks more, but it's not. Yeah. And it's just interesting to see how he deals with that. You know, also, what, what kind of gets me, too... Um... With with more combat nine to ten, I actually we got ten in release, right? Because I did. You yeah, I did too though. Because oh, remember, yeah, yeah. I bought the code because you sent me a code. You're like, you know, we have the full price. We went G2A or something like that. There's some sort of site you found. That, that's that some like Chinese very sketchy website where they fucking will sell you a code and you don't know I if it's be right or not. Congrats! Yay! Yeah, like what do you want to say about this? So I. I'm terrorizing uh, in an ecosystem right now to save that Australian hoe. Right. That but these creatures are ugly anyway, so who cares if they die? Yeah, it's it's only aesthetic creatures. Aesthetic creatures. That or are cute. cute creatures. Well, cute is a, uh, is I would it say is a is it? branch of aesthetic, right? I don't believe it. I reached a new growth level. I'm ten inches now. Oh, I'm twelve. 
Five dollar foot long. Is that all you cost? That's what Jared says to the, the kids. <laughs> Five dollars? Yeah. <laughs> what do you humans intend to do with our mother planet? Uh, rape it. I want to start littering. I want to make the Indian people cry. Dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. <laughs> you know? Hey, <laughs> don't destroy the story machines. <laughs> you cannot do that, my friend. You are my head. Where do I poop now? What? <laughs> Not thinking of the future cutting down trees like there's no tomorrow. They're teaching important lessons here. Global Burning one. the forest to make your towns even bigger and all for what? Yeah. You think that you're the only ones who live on the planet? This is really just like one of those things where they're trying to like teach good lessons. It's to kids really on, like, like ham fisted though. Down. It's yeah. really ham fisted. And yeah, it's like, like it's, it's, it's way really, too obvious as well. Like, like like Final Fantasy VII actually did this. It's like if you start talking about like but but, but, no, but, but, but Final Fantasy VII did this in like an abstract way with like the live stream and everything and 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 the mega corporations, how much power they accrued. Where it's like a really dark and, sense and, of, and, and uh, how they were like sucking the life out of the planet literally. Like yeah. th there's a lot of really interesting things that you could like you could take from that. You don't even have to extrapolate. I mean, it's basically there, but it, it's not telling you outright that it's like you are burning down. This is what the corporations are doing. It's like you can see you it. You can, you can see it. You don't have to be told it. You know, it's it's really just shoving it in your face. It's like I I already saw what they were doing at the very beginning. We were talking about this. I don't need this little fucking mole with it's dwarf dude yeah telling me that i'm doing the bad good sense of hi morals. ho he just said hi ho and he's saying it again you know what really bugs me they just randomly say like words yeah like... they just randomly say things at the end it's like i don't have to differentiate myself by being interesting or doing interesting things i just gotta put like a little thing at the end like to differentiate... <laughs> yeah it's like I, I, let me just put a little like Almost like a little catchphrase at the end. And that's what di uh, differentiates Imagine us. If, Nothing if, else. Every time I did like a Yoshi voice, I said glippity gloop glop after. At the end. Yeah, no matter what like, you no said. No matter what I said. Like, no matter what you said. Glop. And that is what differentiates you. It's not yeah. your personality, nothing like that. This is just shit writing again. Don't you're kid yourself, you are just hairless apes. apes. Or worse. You're nothing more than freaks of, of evolution. It's very sad, but I can understand what he says. She's been saying the same pun over and over again. Why we are fair? No, we are fairy forest wells too, but I don't think I'll see you. You want to buy some Linky? Buy some what? Linky? You want to buy some Linky? No. <laughs> buy some Linky. It's gonna be worth it's crashing. <laughs> buy some Linky. No. <laughs> And are kind of the smallest of life I, forms. I, I you just, are. They are in a minority. Look at the main characters. Like, I think he's nice people. But look at what the main character's done, all right? He's, he's destroying ecosystems yeah. just to fucking... Give necklaces. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, there's that. Pussy. I was talking about this specifically. But yeah, pussy. that too. I mean, like, he's just destroying sentient beings because he's, he's going to around clubbing seals so that way he can give some a nice coat to his uh, and girlfriend. And then the fairy's like, I mean, it, there's nice humans. It's like, really, the one you're traveling with is fucking destroying everything around you. And you're complicit. Yeah. You are there destroying shit with your stupid little wand. I think that's very obvious, though. <laughs> Maybe he should start clubbing fairies I next. I believe that is true. <laughs> I got now I gotta rip out the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's underwater right now. Wait, Sandy. This hydra is holding new bones in the room. I said we should eat them. <laughs> Why did she say tee -hee? And she's <laughs> why did she, hold up, hold up. She's like, there's babies in there that are gonna die. The hydration extinction. But she said tee -hee. And this forest. Is she's laughing at it. And this little bitch is sadistic. Die. Wait, why did the forest die as long as there was life? Why did the what do the these horse, things do? The, for the, the hydra isn't extinct, and the forest isn't going what to die. What does the long... hydra do for the forest? I don't it's know. I, this again, green stank swamp, and then it's like it's gonna help the forest. Like how? Does even look like a forest? It's like a shit ton of mushrooms around. It doesn't look like a forest. It looks like a. It's swamp. like it's like it's like Shrek swamp. It's, it's just like, it's like a swamp. It. Yeah, yeah, it's like a swamp. Showing that fucking Kool Aid, dude. It's, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and then she's drowning oh, herself. Look at how she's oh, she's drowning that, herself. She'd be like, <laughs> yeah, she's she's somehow speaking underwater. All <laughs> oh, that right maybe left is a small, fragile life force. 
But this forest will uh, make it. How is it? How would it? Will hold on, make hold on. It. Okay, okay. I, I gotta say something right now. There are newborns in her womb. They're not even born if they're still in the womb. So they're inside the womb right now, and they probably can't even get out. And how the hell are they gonna get the nutrition available, like uh, t to live? They, they are they are like premature babies in the womb still. He cuts down the mother to save his Australian retarded fucking friend. Right. And then the fairy is drowning underwater right now, talking about, oh, the life, you know, the life is gonna go on because there's hydra babies in the womb still. It's like, how the fuck are they gonna live? Why how not? is anything gonna happen? Because he's gonna How are you talking? I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, you wanna know. Sergi's gonna cut that womb open, right? And he's gonna, he's gonna breastfeed. Fly. He's gonna breastfeed each one of those little fuckers until he raises them to be their own. And then he's gonna skin no, them. No, dude, he's gonna feed and them. Then he's, gonna, he's gonna feed them. He's, he's gonna, gonna start like this, this, like this, this entire market. He's gonna feed them Linky. Yeah, he's gonna feed them Linky, and he's gonna make them grow big and strong. And then he's gonna create this entire like slaughterhouse thing where he like force forces them to breed, so that way the force will stay alive. But he's gonna keep on like breeding them by the thousands, so that way he can like kill them and then it's gonna destroy the ecosystem. Get their skin it's gonna start and, poisoning people that he feeds it to. Yeah, that's the plan. Because it's Shrek swamp. So like, why are you how. eating these things? They're marinating in like he's literal up, bile. Yeah, dude, he's gonna straight up start. He's gonna take that bile too. He's gonna market it as Kool Aid. He's like, hey man, he's a smart man. He is smart. I dude. could get behind this guy. Yeah, that's why Link is going to go up big, because this guy, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> All that may be left is small, fragile, may but the force... The forest how do you know this? Make it. How yeah, do you I know, read this, you dummy. How, do you, know, how do you know this? You pick out... You can't even ditch. fucking... You can't... You're not go even... Go to the next up. page! Dead. Oh, well, well, there go the babies! Yeah, the there go the babies! <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, she just said that the babies were there. The babies, they're gone. I just cut it up. I yeah. cut up everything. And she literally disappeared, I don't know. I think that's very obvious, though. He, 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 he. Nothing in this game makes sense. No, I know. Nothing. Yeah, it's literally just like nothing makes it. But this is better than, than life itself. I don't think they said that. That's what they said. There's not a single dwarf roaming this forest anymore. Cause he literally, I actually made them extinct. Oh, okay, never mind. Have they abandoned this place? Maybe they abandoned it then. Let, let Terry. Why did they abandon? The place because the hydra's gone uh, maybe either because the hydra's gone and maybe they worshipped it or maybe because they're afraid of the guy who's going around murdering a bunch of them <laughs> you know there could be many reasons I like think. yeah i'm invading a, a territory right now and destroying a shit ton of sentient beings in their own territory to save some hoe ah <sighs> You saving the hoe. And then the fairies, work. like, the fairies underwater. Like, nur, 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 nur. Their babies will live. And then the, the babies die right after. And it's like, uh, what? How, did, how does any of this make sense? So anyways, like I was saying, I think there's certain this things. This isn't a so anyways moment. This is like, a, we need a moment of silence for how fucking garbage this piece of shit game is. So Who talking, wrote this? Talking about Mortal Kombat 9, like, I think there's a certain thing to be said uh, for games. That titties are good. They had giant titties in there. Yeah, they, they, they everybody's got they them they fucking gigantic they knockers. They, they look almost fake because they just like they didn't jiggle at all. They didn't add some jiggle fixes in. Now that is some stuff I'm fine with them putting funding into. All right, jiggle Instead of horse balls, some jiggle physics, or so titties just like trying to escape them. You were jerking off to the horse face. balls too, don't you lie? Yeah, I get a good old nice, nice action shot out of the. Yeah, you're balls. just like, oh yeah, I got a chub right now from riding yeah, up my horse. Yeah, big old chub. And they just start crying. <laughs> I was um, there. I was with my slippy like, straw. Like, from about 9 to 10, the aesthetic really changed, and it actually looked a lot less appealing. It did. They I shrunk think, the titties, too. I, I think it was that. They shrunk the titties. Mixed with they had exclusives if you bought, like, a phone or whatever. They had in-game purchases. Do you and not have a phone? Other... What's wrong? Where's your phone? But remember, there was something where you had to, like, download an app or something, and you got, like, the, the Ninja it, it, Mime it outfit. It was for a costume, yeah. Yeah, it was, and I'm like, that's retarded. I really want that outfit, and they're making an exclusive. It's promotional That things. really bothered me, and then the in-game purchases just kind of put me off of it. I'm like, this is not... It didn't have as much content, either. Really, like, they, they cut out the content. I noticed there wasn't, like, as many... All you have to do is um, wait. That's another thing, too, is, like, all the things that you're paying a premium for, you're only paying a premium... Uh for a limited amount of time because you can wait for like a game of the year edition and yeah, it'll have everything but that, the, that you paid that's for not really that much of a problem because you know like i think a lot of people will pay 60 bucks if the game's good um but my point is like and, you, and even you, the game you can pay another hundred dollars for the dlc but you wait like sometimes even just a couple months and you pay way less 
So yeah, you're buying but the at DLC the same time, too. if you're someone who likes to hop on board and not have people and who not have like two months of practice, die. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to be on on top of it. That's still um, a ridiculous amount of money. There it is. But yeah, there, there's like, I like that really does kill games having in app purchases and then having exclusives sometimes too is just really annoying. Like for Mortal Kombat Nine, they had some exclusives, but it was like, oh, you were from GameStop, you get this reptile outfit, but it wasn't like that cool, and it was like the original reptile, I think it was. Yeah. So it was like it wasn't anything that was crazy. Yeah. Look at that. People were paying like hundred dollars. Yeah. Look at that, man. Yeah. What? Do you, what? I don't care about this at all. I don't care anything that happens in this game. Don't ever, don't ever tell me to look at something that's happening in this game. Or I do not. Pay attention care. to do it. No. Um, this game is AIDS. You know what make this game better? DLC and loot boxes. <laughs> yeah. Loot crates. Yeah. <laughs> loot crates. Yeah. That would make this game fantastic. You know, even a game like Years of War 4, it has loot crates and it has a bunch of other stuff, but overall, it's still the same game mechanically as it was in Gears of War 3. Like, I actually still had fun on that game because it's like, it's literally only skins. But you, you already made an argument against that, though. Yeah, I, I did, but I'm saying, like, this is, um,. It actually has quite a bit of content. It has new maps, new weapons, new environments, everything. Actually, more fun on that game. And I'm, I'm saying that there is a case. I still don't like it, but they're actually still updating to this game. That This game came out in 2016, and they're still adding in things now. Like, they just have those loot crates, but they're still updating it. They're still adding in things, you know? So it's been continuously updated. So it's already a full game, and then with those loot crates, they're now adding in things. They've incentive to add in more things. People still, you know, you don't have to either at all. What do you think about what's happening in the game? Let me just update you because you're not paying care. attention. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I don't, I don't so care. Australian girl. Uh, this is another thing. I don't know if we talked about it, but he's the Chrono Trigger. The he's time the assassin. He's we a time assassin. This, yeah, yeah, yeah he's a time this, assassin. Yeah. So I'm just giving you a quick quick reminder, right? We fought a BDSM guy that like shot up into the sky and you can't walk that was over. Too. You can't walk over fucking rocks. All right. Yeah. And then you got a scientist who's just willing to throw her career away because is she Bill finds Nye? it interesting. Yes. Yeah, Bill Nye out there far like farming potatoes and experimenting on them, making them sentient, throwing them out there and then be like, yeah, I'm going to throw up my career that I worked Bill my entire Nye, life. Science guy, Bill Nye, making tomato people. <laughs> Oh, that's what it was, tomatoes. You guys know the intro? The Bill Nye, the science guy. And he's, he's just like, like there's this like sweet, he's, making, really he's making people, he's it. making people, and then they're like, ah! Yeah, like that's the he's intro. He's like cutting them up and shit. He's like a sadistic smile on his face, and he's like, whoa, that's science, dude. And science hurts. Children. <laughs> you want some tomato on your burger? Yeah, here you go, made by people. Made, made and then people. and then and then what else we got, man? We got some we got some we got some good shit in here. What else happened? Oh yeah, good Fairy shit. was talking underwater while she was saying that the force is going to be good and that the babies were coming out and the babies nah, just died right that. in front of that. Yeah, what, what, what else happened? What else happened? Like five what else happened? This shit game you. that people said are their favorite game and that's bad. What's bad? Existing I in know. this life. You should solve that problem right now. I will. Go Nads. That's the stuff we needed to save the girl, huh? And there's no time to lose. No time to lose. Return to Goldove. All right, what's going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next in this, in this uh, game? Like, give me your hot take. Go. He's going to defeat time. He's going to defeat time? What happens gonna then? He's going to change his fate. Because he change is his face? the time. That, yeah, he's going to change his face, face off. He's going to change the people, John Travolta. Too many people know that he's ripping them off with Linky. So he's got to change his face. Dude, there's a bunch of islands and shit. So I imagine this game actually opens up and you can start using a boat and go explore. Right? I don't want to explore in this game. I want this game to be over. Well, that, kind of and neat, I think that it? there's a lot le left of this game and it's 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 painful. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Life is pain. I think I'm I'm getting less enthused about gaming stuff. Like I was actually having more fun on replaying Dota, which I already have like two thousand fucking hours in. Played like a couple matches and I had more fun on that than the new purchase. What are the got. good things in this game that you think are good? That are nothing. Swell. But the soundtrack. Besides the soundtrack, that's low hanging fruit. Nothing. Nothing. I like I like the the Bubba Biba. <laughs> I like him. I actually do like him. I think he's funny. I think Bubba Biba was funny. I like Sticky. It's it's got a lot People want to play games. Play older games. No, I mean like that's not what I'm saying at all. S Older game soul, new game soulless. That's not. I don't think that's. Don't the case like. At all. <laughs> don't like new game. Old game good. But new it, game bad. 
I mean, I, there's no really new games that I'm. Do I'm, we I'm, hold up? We got we got a cutscene. We got to pay attention to this. Ready? I'm gonna. Oh, there's I'm gonna a cutscene. Right here we go. Doc, that's you, dudes. The patient's strength is at its limit. Don't worry. I just I. Oh, that's her right there. Yeah. Oh, he gonna get me either. Do I gotta? I gotta okay, yeah, I gotta. I gotta use. I gotta use the item. Hold up. Use the item. I fucking am. All right. Use the item. Biba flute, dude. Gotta play her tune. Here we go. Boom. Cut up a hydra and destroyed an ecosystem in a different dimension. Yeah, it doesn't matter because it's a different dimension, right? It's not your dimension. You're not affecting anything. Yeah, your dimension's already fucked anyway because the hydras are gone here because they already they already got farmed. Exactly. So you're just fucking up their dimension. Yeah. So who cares? Make it like your dimension, which is shit. Yeah. And they're not even questioning traveling to different dimensions like this fairy you just recruited. You didn't even tell her what's going on, and she just moved to another dimension, and she's not saying ex anything at all. Yeah, that's another problem, is because everybody's so interchangeable, and that's the other thing, like, they wouldn't even be able to craft unique dialogue without having a much bigger budget. So there's a lot of questions that just don't get answered, or even asked, by some of the, the, the party members that you have. Like, it just doesn't make any fucking sense, and it just, it doesn't, it takes you out of the immersion. The whole point of an RPG, anyway, this just be immersed in the world and what's happening. I mean, like, that's... At least for me, that's some of the appeal. Yeah. Because they they go into like world building and stuff. And here, it's just, I don't know what's happening, dude. Can this be a Hydra humor? But how? Like Scoobs. Can this be a Hydra humor? But how? We will discuss that later. I, as uh, long as we have this, making an antidote will be like catching a wave. We can save a girl with that this. That looks nothing like Shaggy, dude. I'm going to be He's honest with you. He's a hippie likes Shaggy. No. All hippies. He's a doctor, dude. Dude, he's a hippie doctor. He's not a there hippie are doctor. hippie doctors. Yes, he is, dude. He's talking about surfing, right? When you say that's surfing. hippie shit, when he just said he's like catching a wave. He's oh. a surfer. Yeah, surfer's not a hippie, dude. Same difference, dude. Both the. Have you ever seen Point Break? That's about surfers. They're not hippies. They're uh, are you are you trying junkies. to quantify what a hippie is based on a fucking movie? Yeah. Are you trying to quantify something based on a movie? Like you see a movie that's real life. You should watch that that's movie with, the... with Johnny Utah. Help me with the preparation stat. Why don't you watch that movie? Whoa, I gotta go and surf. Why is he killing the mole people in here, too? I don't know. Come on, read this, dude. I'm done. I'm done. This, this, this brings it to the end of this Chrono Cross. There's no way that that's enough. That's enough. We gotta keep going. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop now, dude. Um, but now is not the time to ask such questions. Why? They're pretty valid. I guess it, it's just I, gonna die. Just if he get does past this. this. I don't care what the story. You have done anymore. your part. Now Why don't you we can just leave, power through this. Now you can leave. I would the rather rest. play Dead Rising three than do this. You know. Also, that's just something to say as well. Like, I know, don't care. I don't care what you have to say. All right. I, this isn't B's bitch time. Right. Yeah. This isn't B has a butt pain. All right. This is, is D's has a butt pain. This is my game that I hate. All right. This is my butt pain. I'll do what I want, bitch. I'm gonna fucking hang you. I swear to God, man. Don't make promises you can't keep, dude. Uh, now is not the time me. for such questions. You have done your part. Leave the rest to me. Ready? Yeah. Here he goes, dude. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, sure. I booked he, it. He, he, he takes gave off. The, he takes off. And he sells that shit. Yeah, he sells it. He's like, "Yo, man, I'm making weed now." <laughs> like scoops, we got some hydra bones. Yeah. Ready to choke, Scoobs? I'm always ready to choke. I said choke. It's, all ready. it's already close, close to, to nightfall. nightfall. I like how, how like, it's doing the thing right here where it's like, it's always will the person sticky. live? Because, like, she's such an integral part of the, the story and you like her and stuff. Like, that's the whole thing. It's trying to play up on the emotion Right here, it's like they're worried, they're waiting for her, right? Well, Sticky's rocking out the guitar. He's playing the air guitar. Bang, yeah, bang, but, but, bang, no, bang. but here's the thing. They're rocking out. I don't give a shit about this character. With this big old pet. And she's dancing. Yeah, she's like she's not dancing. And she's just like, yeah, but you know, just waiting. Doc, how is she? Will she be all right? Cha. Yes, she has passed the critical period. There's no points complication. I'm gonna. For, she's, she's gonna be stabbed. We've already seen it at the beginning. Remember? She's gonna, she's gonna go up and stab her. She's gonna recover, and then she's gonna stab her in the throat and be like, "This is for Veronica, you whore." Stacy, no. But no, like I'm saying that you don't get the joke because everything in this game literally happens for no reason. So he's gonna say like, "This is for this character, which hasn't been introduced yet for this." Later oh yeah, reason. then Veronica shows up. Yeah, then Veronica shows up, and then it's really his mother. 
Exactly, yeah. And, like, and, and, then, and that then is the and writing. The mother is, is, that, is the Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Exactly. So that, that that was my example of how this is. You written. know what's it's funny? Like I actually like know. I actually know a spoiler. I actually know no. a spoiler to this. No, that's and, all right. No, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay. But you're really close. That is actually really close to something similar that happens. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's just like that's how they write the write it. It's like it's like you're just like just stormed happen. ideas just for a game, and then you just just like if you just imagine never saying no to an idea. You just comes up at the first thought in your head. And then just like having, why do you say no to things that could pop up in your head? Why do you have because to explicitly say no? Because I got like, I got like no. fucking schizophrenia. I'm like, mm, no demons, <laughs> not today. You I'll, have, I'll done kill him another, another time by finding the antidote. I still cannot believe it. At least this guy's questioning it. He's like, what the fuck? How'd you find this? You red bandana. You were surgery correct. You can go longer for supposed to be anesthetic. Will you no. speak with her, dude? Wow. Okay, let's see what happens. He uh, can't speak, though. He can't speak? He Why doesn't not? say anything. They cut out his tongue for the link? No, the, the, his girlfriend did because she he gave a back talk, dude. She he questioned why he was just destroying f- forest Pussy? wildlife for her, oh. and she wasn't putting out. Yeah. I will be in the room next door, so call me when you need me. Dude, I don't have a cell phone. And do not forget that even the poison <laughs> guy, she has not completely recovered. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Got him! Please make it in. <laughs> All right, let's see what she has to say. What do you think she has to say? Come on. What do you think she has to say? These nuts. <laughs> That's all she says, and then he walks away. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you become a bloody handsome with Paul's Why oh, no. did he become bloody handsome? Because she hadn't seen him. I don't know all the details, but I, uh, it looks like that's been going on walls of sleep. Well, I guess it proves that you can take care yeah, of yourself. Because, now. because she's, she's been with him like a day, something like that. What happens if you two? say no to her? Does this quest still happen? You can't say no. Oh, really? You actually can't say no. Forced into it. Really? So you looked it up. You can't say no to her. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like the to her joining you? You join you? I thought you meant like to talk to her. But right. can you say no to her joining you? I don't know. I didn't try it. Maybe I mean that's, that's the way. maybe that's interesting. Saying. I mean, maybe maybe there's some interesting stuff there where it's just like it changes the dynamic of the story completely. I very much doubt it though, especially considering that there's pre-rendered cutscenes of her being in it. So I, I just I very much doubt it. Very much. Looks like there's been a lot going on. Because I couldn't take care of sleep. myself before you joined. I know you can. Because you're a little look baby. At, look, now I've got to change your diaper. <laughs> Give me a smell on you. Because the fucking, be time. There's a, there's a graveyard, man. You were in it. Time for breastfeeding. You were buried in a in a cliff. I was buried in a cliffside. That's right. That was the other dimension, me. Yeah. But it turns out I'm your father, you bastard. <laughs> Slits your throat. That was a mere shadow clone. <laughs> Goku's here. Goku's here now. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting shit like that. Oi, Sergi. You did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? Maybe because I'm in a bed about to die. <laughs> oh, I would have been alright without any antidote at all. Nah, I owe you one. Good night. Sergi. Fuck off. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I don't believe she's Australian, dude. She's not calling someone a cunt 24-7. They do that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, they say that like so much. Fucking oh stage. yeah, okay. He's talking about the alternate dimensions right Far now. Far out, man. There's just really such a thing as another dimension, and you do. I like how he's just taking it off face value, thing. not like let me prescribe you some antipsychotic pills. Yeah. Let well. me let me prescribe you some something to fucking you talk about other worlds, right? Yeah. You're crazy. You nuts. But instead, he's just like, okay. You're from these other this he's other world. He's not questioning why that kid's still wearing a fucking diaper. That's the least of the game problems, <laughs> all right? Just to make it clear, Doc, the only one that's from the other world is Sergi. Oh. Uh. Is she? What? I'm confused. How did she get to this other dimension? Wait, wait, hold up. What? I'm from the other I'm from the same world as Sergi too. How did that happen? Cuz he went to his world where you're he was alive to kill Oh, yeah, that. that's right. All right, because I went to the dimension. But when did he explain that? What is happening? Like, when did he explain the, like, the dimensional shifts? I guess he just explained it now. I, I don't Surprise. Know. I'm not a fairy. 
I'm a fairy godmother. And then she slits open his throat and she's like, it's time to be, be, be the main Bobby character. Bo. Bitch. And then the game ends and it's like, what happened? And he wakes up. And he wakes up and it's like, oh, that explains everything. <laughs> um. Okay, so. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It makes sense why the party members are accepting it because they actually get it. They transition. It's but why like, the fuck are they, it's like trying to listen to someone's fever dream. It's like, dude, I don't care what happened in your fever dream. It that's was basically a, what this game is. It a is. Fever dream. Yeah, it really is. It, it just it's, that's what it reminds me of. It's just it's like just nonsense. It's just nonsense. Yeah. Of a story. So it's like, why would I want to? Why would I even attempt to put any effort into learning more about the story? Uh. So I suppose some things are slightly different. How? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, otherwise, we would have never found a hydra in this world. <sighs> never to cross each other, yet existing alongside one another. It's time for me to do some explaining, like a PNG show up. <laughs> hey, Doc. Um, let's not think too deeply about this, because if if we do, then we have to explain what the game is yeah. <laughs> really means, yeah. or what the fuck is happening in the story. Dude, all right. It's simple enough. He's the Chrono Trigger. He's the Time Assassin. He is here to assassinate time. All right? <laughs> there isn't a way to explain. Even after I threw it myself, I doubt what I saw. I'm going to do my strategy. Let's drop the theory, Sock. This girl's been safe. That's all we need to know, right? Very like you. But he's got ads. a point, Doctor. What the fuck is the point? That you shouldn't think? I don't it's know. It's like you shouldn't think. Don't think. Thank That's you. bad. I think it's bad because I didn't do that. I'm the writer and I didn't do that. I didn't think at all. Yeah, should, I didn't think at all when I made this game. She'd be just enjoying the ride. I don't think ride. anybody fucking thought. She'd just be enjoying the ride, man. <laughs> <laughs> no one sees what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry, I was just wrapping something around my neck, pretending to hang myself. <laughs> Susan's life has been saved. I don't think that they need further. Okay. Let me just. I'm so done, man. Well, I guess you're. Oh, I, I guess you're right, dude. Yeah, like, too much stupid as jeez. I cannot find an answer. He has elf ears. Did you notice that? His ears are pointed. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Wait, no. I think they're hidden under the hat. I don't think they're pointed. I think that's just like. Oh, hidden yeah, under the that's hat. a mistake. It's hidden under the hat. Yeah. yeah. Under his little fucking beanie, dude. Here's like a. He has that big old beanie like fucking Ethan, man. And that's a great reference. I will destroy you. Stop it. <laughs> uh, Daddy, oh shit. is that you? What's happening? It's your daughter. Just kidding. It's me. Piccolo. Piccolo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. It's like grenade. P Piccolo. Oh, no. Is she stealing I'm shit? I'm going to poison you. It's gonna steal. It's gonna steal the amulet or whatever, where it allows me to travel between dimensions. Why? Did it ever explain? I don't remember it explaining. Why is it why the is amulet? Like how it has properties to. to I don't fucking dimensions. know, dude. Stop asking me this. Don't ever ask me this. What's going? What are you gonna do now, Sergi? You've already found a way. You could go back home and live a peaceful life too, and nothing ever happened. What the hell is, even is, the, is the point? Can you really forget what? everything you see here? And you can live with what, what the hell is he even? You turn your back on us, you savage, you evil man. Oh no. I see it all. Nuke went off, dude. Hiroshima. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I fucking knew it. Warriors out there bombing the Titanic. Yeah. Oh my god, this fucking fur fat. For a second again. there, I thought that was his forehead. Time assassin. Don't skip this. I'm it's not clicking trigger. anything. Come to me, the time assassin, chrono trigger. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said, come to me, the time assassin. I looked at you. The chrono trigger. What are you going to do now, CG? Could go back home. Go the fuck back home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and collect seashells for the rest of my life. CG, are you, are you sure you're going to be satisfied with that? Think about it, Sergi. Why are they... Wait, wait. Why did you take the trouble to cross the worlds to help Susan? Because she was dying? Like, the whole point was that he cared about human life, so he tried to help her? Like, that... What does that have to do with him Why would you back? help someone who's dying if you're going to go back home? Yeah. Right? Well, like, it's the, my... Where the fuck is the logic there? That makes no sense! 
That makes absolutely no sense. It's like I saved someone's life I, who is, who is uh, an Maybe. acquaintance or a friend. Now I'm going to go back to my world because that's where I belong or that's where I feel most comfortable with. That's my fucking life, all right? All right? So why the fuck is that an argument against doing that? It's like, why did you take the trouble it to... Just it's, it's like it's like he's an actual brain that like most people... It wasn't just because you wanted to go back to your own world. No, it had nothing to do with going back to your it's own world. It's because he wanted to go back to his own world. That that's why he went sense. back to his Where own world. Where the fuck is the logic? his life to save her life so he could what go back to his own world. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. This, this logic makes no sense. This is, this is what people say when they're reading comment sections of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what like a normal person was in brainlit when reading comment sections. <laughs> no, like except for you had other channel, reasons know, to come you know. back to this world. How do you know that? How do you know that? You, he's mute, dude. He's fucking mute. Hey, dude, he's he knows he knows him. He knows he's an evil man. He knows and inside all that. and out. Inside and out, he's evil he's to the core. He's collecting seashells for he's destroying bad to the bone. Yeah, because he knows he's now. crazy. Yeah, I just destroyed you an had ecosystem. Other reasons. You had you had a plot for saving her life. You had reasons of your own, of selfish reasons. It was completely selfless. So therefore, you're a selfish man. Yeah. No, I'll stick yeah, stick with it. But you stay slow when we die, and you hear. I don't know what happened to this game, but it looks like Viper's Mob is something to do with it. Alright, let's get past this. Let's go after Mini Bash. I'm bash that Link's character and get my hands in the frozen flame. Link's. He stole something precious to me. He's gonna take away my future. He's taking away my future. What, what was that? What was the precious thing? He stole her baby? Yeah, he stole her, he stole her big old baby. Big old baby? Big old baby. A big old retarded baby. <laughs> and he's like, I won't allow this retardish to continue. So he aborted it. Then he, he like, tied like, the tubes. Yeah. What does that have to do with the frozen flame, though? That's her tubes. That's how she unties them. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a better story than this. <laughs> I'll find them no matter what it takes. Oh, no. He helped. Now then. At one point I thought they were doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. Oh, no. Looks like everything worked out in the end. Hey, hey, everyone starts laughing. He's like, don't you laugh, Sergi, you scum. And all of a sudden they start fighting. And he like chops his head off and he's like joking. I'm an alien. He's like, I always knew. And then you just start going outer space. <laughs> I want to die, dude. This game is so fucking That's how you bad. write, man. Apparently, to these people, this is how you write. You just, like, write random shit. You just, whatever pops up in the old noggin. Yeah, just fucking do it. It's like Shia LaBeouf just fucking written this, man. He's just, like, just, they asked him, like, what do we do here? He's like, just do it. Just, just write that shit, dude. <laughs> He's, like, getting fucking high. All that's life to take back is determined, right? My job ends there. 300G. What is she searching for? You're looking for something? Yeah. The elements I had on my me grid are gone. What elements? Uh, oh, her magic. Did you remove the elements from me grid? I don't even understand. How does she know she has a grid? And how do the grids work? And how, yeah, do, how they... do the elements... And why is she breaking the fourth wall right now? Yeah, I didn't realize... And it's not like materia either, I don't think. What are, what are the grids? I don't understand. So the grids are like a part of them? I don't know. She has it removed. At least with the materia in Final Fantasy VII, it made sense because it's slotted into their armor. They're like little balls that unlock power. They, 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 they explain it. They explain what it is. It's like crystallized and everything. They go into a, a full depth thing, like a, a full in-depth thing. And event children, they just like straight up absorb it. Remember? Well, it, it, that's, it's showing like what it looks like to them. It, it's not absorbing it. They're putting it in their armor. Oh, really? I thought they were just stripped no, no, absorbing. No, no, they weren't absorbing it. the scenes, he put it in his hand. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's that's how it works. It's like slotted things. That's what it looks like to them. They just put it in there and it fits so many slots because he probably had a gauntlet or something like that. You know, he really? just puts it in himself. Yeah, really? that, that's I always, my I thought, assumption. I thought yeah. there, they just like, they should That doesn't make any it. sense if they absorbed it. Because that, like. Why it, wouldn't it? Because they're, they're experiments and shit. They ain't human. They ain't people. Oh, let's just not get into this. Let's what not you get into What think of that anything. movie, huh? 
we don't have to think, dude. We're playing Chrono Cross, right? I know, right? This is the game where you don't So think. I want you to explain to me how they have elements and a grid and how that exists in their universe and how it has not yet even talked about that slightly and why that makes sense. It's the same reason that there's a teleporter in here. Teleporter. 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 <laughs> and no one questions this. No one goes like, oh, there's a teleporter in here. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you for this, this technology that makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. So why did you remove the elements from her grid? Oh, because I'm a big old fucking mini, dude. And how does she use her grids to use stuff? Then who did? I just... Okay, but hold up. I just saved this bitch's life, and she's accusing me of thievery. She asked you if you if you took it. And then she's like, then who did? And she's staring at him. She's staring at him right now and tapping, she's her, tapping foot. her foot. She's like, you fucking little thief. <laughs> exactly. I cut your hand off for this thieving you just did. I hope you're right, you liar. <laughs> it's a little girl. I saw it. Well, what you doing? Hey, Blondie, if you want your stuff back, I challenge you to catch me. What is happening? I don't know. Dude. What is happening? Just stuff is happening. Just things are Gotta happening. Catch me. Why is this in here? <laughs> what is it, dude? Does Mel up to something again? It's just too shenanigans. It's the same old mischief, but this time she's gone too far. Yeah, she keeps on fucking around, hiding shit. She'll hide her, her gold and throw it out in the sea. You're going to say he's going to hide the remote real sick yeah, shit, aren't you? Yeah, man. I was thinking that, but I didn't say it. I'm sorry about her, Susan. I'll get the stuff back from her later, so go easy on her, all right? She's a little thief, dude. I, I chop her hand off for stealing my shit. Don't you think? That should be the rule. Rule of law here. Her hand? Just chopped off. <laughs> yeah! Peanut! <laughs> Not to be rude, but I don't have time to play with Brown, so I gotta chase after Lynx now. What is it, Sanchi? You need those elements. Come on, mate. Let's go. All right. No, let's go after Mel. If he insists, then let's go find that bot right away. That's the plan, gonads. So apparently it's just normal in their household that their child goes and steals from other people, then runs away into the wilderness where scary fucking monsters are that could eat her. Is that right. what's going to happen? She's going yeah, like, to boat gonna away? She's going to get in trouble, and there's going to be a monster that's going to kill her, then you have to do a boss fight. I'm calling it now. You want to bet money on it? I'll bet money on it. Right? You're not just going to find her. It's, it's going to be that. You're going to have to fight a boss. Because she's going to run into it. The more I think about this game, the less I want to think. You ever you ever, you ever, you ever, have that experience where it's just like you're... Just when, you turn your, going. when you turn your brain on, you just experience nothing Pain but pure suffering. suffering. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. It's Every really bad with this day. game. Every it's like, it, it, no matter what you... I, I, I don't even... I don't understand what's happening. I don't fucking understand it. Like, the shit, you're right, just the shit that happens in here is just happening. I will become the wind. Chief Diarrhea is in prayer. You may not enter the shrine now. Come back a little bit later. Okay. I demand we go here. She ran to the forest. Oh. You try the Resistance Tower. It's gonna be the forest. You're not gonna find her. You're gonna find her in the fucking forest. She's gonna be in the forest. Calling it now. In this world, there's supposedly six dragon gods. Oh yeah, slow. They're dropping this fucking knowledge. There's six dragon gods, by the way. Did you know that? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, I was wrong. She's just hiding behind a hut. No, I take, that I was take unexpected. That bet. Yeah, that's I take that bet. Yeah. <laughs> I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take it. Residential Tower. Let's go. We should find their no time. Why is she doing this? Why is this? I've never seen a kid do this, steal from someone, and then run away around town. If this happened, dude, I mean, I, like, what kind of, like, I don't think kids give a shit enough to steal something. They want some attention. random person. Yeah, they want attention, right? But when I was younger, I didn't, like, grab someone's wallet and then run five miles down the road. 
right? Like, that's just a whole Your new fat level. ass couldn't what? make it five <laughs> down, miles down the road. <laughs> that was one of the reasons. <laughs> but I've just never heard of this, you know? It's like, what? I don't know, man. That's the least of the game's problems yet again. It's just one of the many things that are just happening because they can happen. I don't know who wrote this, but they should have been fired. If this trash came out of my company, I would track down the person that made it. I'd make sure they never get a job again. You blacklist them? I would, yes, I would blacklist them. From life. (laughs) Yeah, buddy. Who does this? Who is in charge? Who gets promoted to a position that is in charge of writing something and turns out this absolute fucking garbage intelligent people there are three exits to this tower if we go through each other there's no escape you gotta get to the top one so he knows that person what okay Uh, it's kind of like trying to do something with, like, it's, it's trying to copy, like, what Yuffie did in Final Fantasy VII. Mm, I don't remember. She steals your materia. Why should you do that? you go over there, because she's, I, I forgot, god damn, I, I think she steals it because she needs it for the prosperity of, I think it's Wutai. Mm. Um, so she steals it because her, her city is becoming poor. Hmm. And that's mostly due to Shinra. It's something that Shinra did. I forgot what happened specifically. Hmm. But uh, she ends up stealing it because she wants to help her her town. And right. she thinks that she could sell it and then help her town. Right. This is just happening for no reason. And also, you, you become a little bit more sympathetic for Yuffie because you understand that she's just younger. She's like, and, a, yeah. And uh, she's not too young, though. Wah. Yeah. Cry. <laughs> you idiot, that's what you get for messing with my customers. I'm not going to forgive you. He's just beating her up, crying. dude. That should be enough. But what did they do? He beat her up, dude. Really? <laughs> He's like, hold her down. Yeah. He's like he starts punching her and shit. <laughs> no more babies. <laughs> <laughs> She never know what she might do again. There you go, dude. Don't worry about it. You gotta make sure her brain does not function ever again. Yeah. She's in a wheelchair. She can't run away. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, man. Besides, the little one... Wait, the little uns? Got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers? Hey, don't you... I got a name too, you know. It's Mel. Look at her face. Her face is shaped weird. Oh, I G for she's got real spirit, but when you just crying just now, or you're just faking it. I tell you it's gonna be a real mean one when she grows up. Ha ha ha. When she grows up. Look at her face. Why is her face so weird looking? She's got that alcohol fetal syndrome. Dude. Yeah, it really does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like something's wrong with, with her. Yeah, like her face just looks weird. That's why she's stealing shit, dude. Her brain isn't working. Oops, I guess you just steal a little, little un. Eh, don't worry. A little un? Uh, Are you sure uh, you want to leave it at that? Uh, oh, you can give you a choice? Maybe put her in a wheelchair. Put her in a wheelchair, <laughs> dude. You have a choice. <laughs> Cripple her forever. <laughs> yeah. Turn to That's a... what happens, dude. When people people steal from you, you just gotta break their legs. Yeah, dude, they'll never fucking steal again. <laughs> Either that, they become like like silver bullet and they'll start stealing at a better magnitude. Than they're like... <laughs> silver bullet, yeah, dude. They go go kart and, they... and they just go around nabbing people's wallets, man. And That's then they speed away. Yeah. Dude, they got like nos in their wheelchairs. You know, and we shit? can kill out little fuckers with a silver bullet. <laughs> That's what that movie's about. Yeah. Those handicapped people became like superhumans. Yeah, dude. He fucking you just had... If you don't have silver bullets, you can't stop them. Exactly, yeah. Come and find me when you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you found him? I found him, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get moving, then. I 
I was half expecting her just to be in your party. Like, Mel to be in your party. You know, like, for no reason. She's so like, you got a new party member. It's like, why? It's like, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> That's the like explosion for this entire game. Why does this happen? Cuz. Why is there a rat up here? We got a serious That's, rat um, problem. It looks like a chinchilla. It's like a chinchilla something. But why is it just sitting there? Chinchillas are, like, very energetic. I think that bitch, like, fucking killed the, the chinchilla. Yeah, she cut off its feet so it wouldn't run away. Kept on trying to run away and because it... You know, so she cut his feet and no more problem. Now she's got a little stump. <laughs> a little stumpy chinchilla that she can just pet. What would you do if you had to win a boxing match, but you couldn't have any fists? I'd start kicking. <laughs> <laughs> put boxing gloves on your feet? Yeah, put boxing gloves on my feet and be like, these are my new hands. That that won't work. It would. Feet aren't allowed. Just axe kick them. Feet aren't allowed, dude. Yeah. I'll just like change my. I, 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 what I do is I'd cut off my feet and then put them on my like stumps, and then I use those <laughs> to make any fight. Sense. <laughs> so what I do is I turn my. I, I'd like chop off my legs and put them where my arms were, and then use those to fight them. What would you do if you woke like, up? Just, what would you do if you woke up in the, in this in this universe? I go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That was the best thing that you said today. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. I'm signing up for this job today. You're signing up for I wish to I, I wish to be the S in B and D's. So what what is the requirement to join B and D's playtime, sir? Do I have to be it's autistic exclusive. like you two? It's exclusive. Whoa. Exclusive to who? B and D. Who's B and D? <laughs> it's me. I'm B and D. Holy shit. I just edit things in a way where it makes me look like I'm Do you know how people. crazy that would be if that was actually the case? You, you know what would be crazy? is like we did live streams. I'd be like, dude, I'm really talented. That's impressive. Yeah, you could like throw your voice while you're talking. Yeah, and I like interrupt myself somehow. Yeah. I have like... I'll and have, you like, have two different opinions too. You have to be like love RPGs or then hate them. You have to yeah, play every it. RPG but not play them. Yeah, <laughs> like put it... I, I'd have to like think it all out. Yeah, that'd be insane. That'd be pretty impressive. I would be, yeah, I'd be impressed. You'd be impressed. But I wouldn't be impressed because How would you be impressed because you'd be me? Exactly. So I'd be the, I'm, I'm the crazy part of you. So I'm impressed because it's me. No, I, it's me. It's not you. No, You're, it's me. You don't exist. I'm, no. <laughs> I exist, I'm you. You, you are me. <laughs> yeah, but you're just the other personality. But it's me. Who? <laughs> I'm the body. You're the mind. <laughs> I guess I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we talked about uh bunny and cat girl waifus what about mole waifus like this huh hell yeah she's a mole yeah looks like a mole now that's a mole i wouldn't get removed from my ass <laughs> <laughs> what is happening what is happening <laughs> What is happening, dude? Oh, I say, G, stop humping me. <laughs> stop humping my leg. Look at, look at, like his, like he, he's like doing like a chicken dance, dude. Are you doing that, or is that a glitch? No, it's just a glitch. Can you move? Yeah, I can move. I, I just don't want to because it's funny. Oh, yeah, dude, he's pecking her. He's giving her a thousand <laughs> kisses a minute. He's happy is, to see is her. Is that what happens after he, he collects the seashells? Yeah, Maybe that's his reward. He gets a pecker. Yeah, he gets the pecker with his like lips. You know, like. That's just pack. fucking weird. That is, this is weird. You should be ashamed of yourself, developers. Look at what you've done. This is this is the peak of gaming. This is the peak of what's the what's the if, if this is the peak, what is the like the the absolute bottom? My life. This doesn't do with gaming. <laughs> life is a game, dude. And you're losing. Yep, and I'm losing. I'm playing on a fucking ultra hard mode. <laughs> And what would Africans be playing on if I'm playing ultra Easy. hard mode? Easy mode, yeah, because they get to they get to go out right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They just punch that ticket and they get their score right away. And it's always their AIDS. score is always yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It's exactly what I was gonna say. Their score is always AIDS. What do you think about the new Pokemon game where like Game Freak made it? I think that unless the Pokemon are hot chicks, I'm not fucking interested. I thought you just didn't care. They could be rats or whatever, dude. Yeah. They gotta have big old titties, though. So if you just say, take Pikachu the way he is, 
Right. And then slap some big titties on him. And a big old pair, big old nut sack too. Big old hairy nut sack. <laughs> then you got me interested. <laughs> Pika pee. Pika pee pee. Pika pee pee. <laughs> This is evolving real quick. <laughs> I play that. Of Fucking course just... you would. <clears throat> just do that all day. It's too much, wasn't it? Yeah. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. <laughs> it's time to sail off. It's like getting to the point when, where when I just can't, I can't, even get, I can't even get angry anymore. It's just sadness. It's just it's just sadness. Who develops? You just describe my why, life. Why would you? Why would you? Who would be proud of this? And why would you release it? This is such a blight upon everything, upon like a person's record and developing it. The only person that should be proud of themselves is the guy who made the music. He did fantastic. Yeah, good Pat job yourself you. on the back. You did great. He wasted his... Everybody else? He wasted his nice music, though, on this game. It's like it was uh, a yeah, waste of music yeah. on this game. Yeah. Um, you know, I really wish there were certain games that actually made their own environments. They didn't use things like trees. They made their own shrubbery and stuff like that. Like, everything was their own, their entirety of their world. Maybe even their world could be a different shape, too. It could be a windmill. You know? But I'm saying, like, they create their entire universe with its own rules. Well, DBZ kind of did that with the... the uh, even the... Infrastructure and yeah, stuff. Yeah, even, even the trees and stuff look different. Everything looks different. Yeah. You know, you don't see, like, creative. a green pine tree or anything. Yeah, you 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 don't I see a, a normal house. Door trees. I think that was yeah, why, probably. But. but even Namek and stuff like that has different looking grass. It has different looking trees. You know, the mm -hmm. I main you know like the the toads were the frogs were just like frogs with like antennas and stuff. But you know, it was, it was fine. It's still like interesting. I need to, like I really wish they did that more often. This game kind of does that with its own world, but not it's too like much. so fucking confusing. I, I don't, I mean, it, it does. I mean, it does. It does do its own thing with its own world, pretty much. It's just, it's like so different from Chrono Trigger. You know what really does that? You know, you know what re actually really does that, and I really enjoy it. Mario. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like They're the really Mario creative. RPGs and stuff. I really enjoy them. They're very creative. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. They have flaws, but they're still good. Like the Mario and Luigi series, good. Paper Mario, good. They have their they have their own everything. Yeah, their universe has their own like everything folds up and stuff. Mario can fold up and there's yeah, yeah, I mean, set like, of rules. Even and... even like uh Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, you know how you go to the Bean Bean Kingdom and stuff and even that kind of changes the rules up and Yeah. It just it's very creative. Now Glenn's going to join your party. Oh dude. no. The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. Why is he now telling you need him my this? help? Why is he telling I'll him? I'll join this? your party. Why? Because he needs to join your party. They seem to hear the rumors of the frozen flame in El Nido and are coming to investigate. Oh, he's talking to the other person. That's and why you're, you're over you're here. He's just the standing game. there yeah. and he's not noticing. No, it's like, you're the people that broke in to, you know, where I was stationed and uh, you're wanted fugitives. But let me just talk to this person selling flowers. It's like, I can't even get mad at this anymore. It's like, it's just so stupid. I can get mad for you. Ah! I, I'm angrier than that. Come on, keep. Ah! See, you can't. You just can't stay mad anymore. It's just. It's like there's just a limit, and it just develops into sadness. Yes, that is why we're moving the fort to the fort for a while. That fort yeah, is far. fort is far from town. What do you think of Glenn's design? He looks very bland. Bland. He like, like he looks like he's... an RPG maker character. That's what I said before. I, I said that. I agree with you. I said that. You're a bad man. You're Batman. The way General Snake <laughs> was acting before he left. So. Just don't fucking say anything to that. There's nothing to say, dude. <laughs> Sergi, did you hear that? Oh, uh, what? Uh, did you hear that, Sergi? What? Did you hear? Sergi? What? He's a teleporter. Hey, girl, Sergi. Did you hear it? Am, I, te am I teleporting into your desolate womb? You fucking stagnant bitch. What? <laughs> what, Sergi? I didn't hear that. Good thing I'm mute. <laughs> this is AIDS. Turn this off, man. We're done. We're done recording for now. We don't got anything funny to say. 
I'm trying to think of things to talk about. Tell me something that's happened. Well, we should probably, like, look at the things happening in this game and comment on There's them. There's nothing to comment on this game. The more we try to focus on this game, the more my brain gets fucking deader. It said the dragon tear here was needed for the rituals. Bloody bastards, what are they up to now? Sergi, this is no longer just our problem. We gotta save the it's forest the animals. It's the universe's we gotta, problem. We gotta save the forest animals. We gotta save... No, we gotta save the forest animals, dude. We gotta save killed. a universe. Man. We gotta save the forest animals. It's no longer our problem. So what do you think? Wh whose problem is it? The universe. If we don't stop these buggers now, they're gonna... It's Namek's problem now. I don't know. Fort Dragonia is top of Mount Pier, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get there by land. So, the question is surprising. Blonde braids. A blood red blast. That sounds like a description of a thief from the Radical Dreamers. And it's just like the ghost Karsh was describing. So what? You want to take us on or something? No, I want to join you. I want to join sorry, you. Sorry, Dory, but what a beautiful she rush. Say sorry, Dory. Yeah. S to that Fort Dragonia of yours. Sorry, Dory. Don't you feel something all the time, dude? I was, I was just dude, like, hold up. That like, makes me even more suspicious. She just said, "So what?" Like, man. I will draw my sword if needs be, heathen. <laughs> Be gone! Be gone! Thought and yeah, shut up. Oh, Glenn, stop that! You're making me cringe. Making I don't have a I don't have a camera for my cringe compilation, Glenn. Yeah, your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstances. Your brother was a better man. You're a piece of shit compared to your brother. Your brother. What does was, this have to do with anything? Your brother was a good man. It's like it's like these are these are terrible. Your brother in his would eyes, make in better his... choices, life choices than you. He wouldn't have gotten high. In in his in He his... wouldn't jerk off the Futanaro, your brother wouldn't. <laughs> Why are you describing yourself? Anyways uh, I was gonna say, what does this have to do with anything? Like he in his mind, these are terrorists that are wanted for in in the kingdom that he is currently employed as a knight or contracted, whatever you wanna say. So in his mind, it's morally right to stop these evildoers. And then this flower lady's like, your brother wouldn't have drawn a sword against terrorists. Against the kingdom. Because your brother was a better man. No, his brother was a pussy. His brother was a fucking, that's why he's dead. No, his brother was brave. and his, This guy's a fucking asshole, right? Leave my brother out of this, you, you swine. Oi. Don't get your kickers in the knot. Knickers, not kickers. Get your kickers. <laughs> I don't care if you draw your sword or what, but I ain't stopping for ya. See ya. Alright, forgive me for my Why rest is he behavior. asking for forgiveness? Forgive me, Jesus. <laughs> Come to think of it, I really have no interest Why in you. Why would he... What are you talking about? Come to think about? of it, nothing really mattered to me any to begin with. He just, I just pulled a sword. What is Because happening? it doesn't really matter to him. But why? What's happening, dude? Because, dude. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. Why, dude? You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna be like, "I want to join you, terrorizers." Do it. I shall fall my own way to find the truth. Nah, he's way cooler than that. He's too cool. Well, you get to the boat first, head north, then. Why east, is he you giving directions? Small island there, because he wants the terrorists to know that you know he's cool with them. <laughs> He's like, dude, I I I like ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I dude, nothing makes sense in here. It's like, why are why are like, did he not swear loyalty? Like, did he not swear loyalty to this faction that he's part of? Because that's what his brother would do. That's why. That's what his brother would do. You know, his brother deserved to die. If his brother was executed <laughs> because of this shit, it's like if he swore an oath and he betrayed them like this, and in his mind, like, there's no reason to help them. It's not even like he's aware of a plot. He's not aware of a plot like these people are evil or anything of the sort. He hasn't questioned the, the tomato experiments or anything like that. He's just like, he's just like, oh, forgive me for pulling out my sword because I think you people are terrorists in my view. I'm going to give you 
point by point directions in how to get here. Not point by point. He's just saying, hey, head north, then east. Figure it out from there. Here's a map, bitch. <laughs> Find him. <laughs> that was <for> his device. <laughs> purple. With respect. Bye. What is, what is happening? All we need to do nice is find that boat. Let's get it move on it. Let's get it moving. Talk to her. Talk to that woman. He's going to talk about his brother. Glenn's always like that when I bring up something about his big brother. His big brother, is being such a brilliant man, must be hard. She's straight up. She's straight up saying that he's fucking retarded. Yeah, she's. She, 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 yeah, she was. She's literally saying that his brother's better. Yeah. What? A, that'd be such a shitty thing. Like, I could you like could imagine that? Like, if I died and then someone was like, "Your brother would do this." That never happened. Let's flip the. Let's flip the All right, yeah. Imagine though. you die and then. And then someone's like, and then and then you are watching down. You were looking up from hell, <laughs> and then you see people treat me like that. They're like, "Your brother would done this." I'm you, like, "No, he wouldn't." <laughs> I'd be laughing at you. I would be like, "Fuck well, you." While being tortured. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends. You could just be, you know, in a bunker. You guys need to cross the sea. What? That's nothing to do with what I was saying. Respond to me, oh, please. The, with two conditions. What are the conditions? I can't get out of here because I don't want... But I guess this ain't the time to be picky, so go, Nades. First, this dragon's here. Give it to me. Why Why would you want the dragon... Wait, why, why, why would he want the dragon here? The other condition is... I want you to mumble, mumble. Stop mumbling. Speak up. I can't hear you. I uh, want you to be my wife. Oh wait, I'm talking Australian, even though that's. What did you just say? He's he's, he's gone. He's gone. I said uh, I want you to be my dude, wife. He's he's gone. Uh, he's gone. Super Saiyan God. Super. Yeah, Saiyan. he went. No, it's not Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan. It's just Super Saiyan. Oh, God. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, Super Saiyan God. Yeah. Which reminds me, I actually have the Super Saiyan God Broly fan theme and the Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Five theme on my iPod. It's Super Saiyan Five player. isn't real. And I have a uh, Bardock theme as well. Which is pretty cool. It's remixed. I'll send that to you later. So why why does he want her to be his wife? Because she's hot. It's that kind of makes sense. He just he's just lonely. He's a lonely little fucking disgusting. What you want? Don't mess with me. You tell me you want ass blast me. So how you kiss the moons? I'm not joking. Uh, to tell you the truth, I um that it was love at first sight. But he's like a child. I don't understand. You know who I am, don't you? He could be an adult, dude. Maybe he just got baby face. Maybe. He's like a 50-year-old man. I thought he was a kid. I thought they said he was a kid. No, no. They, he's a child at heart. He's a 50-year-old man. In a diaper. Right. You're some kind of thief, ain't you? Don't you worry. I don't care about your past. I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until this fuss is over, so please. Mm, uh, do you have money? <laughs> what should I say? Tell him that you will. Or to refuse. Refuse! Refuse the baby man. Say no. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, it's from Sergi's thing? But I thought I was asking you to refuse. No, no, no. It's, it's what Sergi wanted to say. Oh. And then she kicked him in the balls. Because, because that said, is very that is a very appropriate thing to do. The person so, that the person that saved your life and, and destroyed an ecosystem for you, you assault him and kick him right in the nuts because he, so wait, he gave if, input. If, if, if some woman asked to marry him and he he said and she interrupted and said, "Don't don't do that, Sergi." He can shoot up and go ah! and fucking smash her skull. In. Yeah, yeah. Like I think if the rules were reversed here, and then she said that because uh, someone came up and to knock Sergi. her on her fucking ass and watch her no, fucking brain spill out. No, no, no. You have to. It, it's not the same. That's not the same as kicking someone in the nuts. You'd have to kick her in the cooch, dude. Yeah, you know, you know, you punch her in the cooch. You get a swift uppercut, a haymaker upward. Like you know, like you know, his like arm a, stuck. He spit it up. Like his a arm gets stuck in her cooch yeah. and he's swinging her around like a flail. No, I'm saying like you know. Okay, everyone, stick your hand up in the air and pretend you're doing an invisible lasso where you whip it around like a wet noodle. <laughs> and then you swing it up. You get a bunch of momentum. And then you bring it around like an ultra haymaker. And then you straight up slam dunk her cooch. <laughs> and sure, you can her. 
right? And that's because she dared give her input as a friend. <laughs> yeah, and then he gets to tell her and like, get over her face. Like, what, bitch? This is none of your business. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that, that's, that's, that's what exactly happened if it was the alternative. Apparently that's okay, yeah. Yeah, apparently this is okay. And, and oh, oh, by the way, that woman saved your life and destroyed an entire ecosystem and killed sentient beings for your ass. No, you mean he saved her. He saved that. Yeah, no, but I'm saying this alternate, this alternate thing where it was like she gave input. She also saved his life. Like that. Oh it, yeah, it makes yeah, it yeah, worse. Yeah. It makes yeah. it worse because like he saved her life and then she kicked him in the nuts. Yeah, she's total fucking rude bitch. It's me own problem. Okay, I understood, but this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I gotta wait till Sergi sees says. That is if I didn't fucking make him impotent for the rest of his life. <laughs> it's like a promise. I guarantee you anything more. You gotta be careful with yourself from now on. Why? Just remember that your life is not your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be... This little... This little... This little... 50-year-old baby man is cucking Sergi. Yep. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? A genius. A genius. An artist. A philosopher. Please don't ever write anything again. This is this An is what I have man. to say. This is this is something that I have to say to whoever wrote this piece of garbage. Don't ever he's watch write, this because this Japanese write, guy who's like who wrote this. Like, I hope so. I have a message gets delivered ago, to him. Is like, I fucking hope. You know, I, I want to see some let's plays for my game I created way back when. That's what I want to see. I hope someone translates he gets this. Not only I hope, first, I hope I hope first I let's whoever play, wrote this garbage and then watches our like seventh yeah. one. He's like, whoa. He should be ashamed of himself. You should I'm be ashamed joking. of himself. He should be ashamed of himself. What? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say to me, bitch? You heard me. No, I didn't. So I'm asking. Yeah. If you had to replace your limbs with one thing and it couldn't be human, <laughs> what would it be? Uh, it'd be midgets. <laughs> you mean just midget people? As yeah. Your limbs? <laughs> yeah. You'd have like four midgets attached to you? Exactly. You'd kill the ones that were like your feet. And yeah. Would you be able to control them? Yeah, like, they'd have to control themselves. No, my, like their brain would be like my. What like, if they just like hold you up system. with their arms, little baby arms, and they just like walk? You know, like pitter patter. You got like four legs technically. Nope, because nope, like... nope, nope. My my stumps right, are attached down. to their skulls, and I control them. <laughs> I get extra brain power too that way. <laughs> so there's like you have four feet then. You have like four feet because they have feet. Exactly. Or you cut off their feet too. No, why would I cuff their feet? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Then I attach midgets to those feet, even smaller midgets. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect idea, dude. That's like horrifying. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks we appreciate watching. you sticking through this and, and supporting bye. us. Yeah, we'll see, see you next video.